got to go out there. We locked in. Y'all know what it is. We locked in. What up? Y'all already know what it is, man. What What's up? the deal, man? What's going on, man? Salute, salute. She can't see, man. Y'all tune in to We Locked In. I'm here with my co-host, Mikey B. And we're here with our special guest, Mr. Pee Wee in the building, Mr. Shaq Grimm. What's good, y'all? What's the deal, man? What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Hey, Life. man. Hey man, just chilling, man. Just ch just chilling, taking it easy, man. Glad to have y'all here, man. Shaq, Shaq was Shaq was beefing, man. He was like, "Yo, man, you know today's the Giants game. Why you call me at five o'clock?" <laughs> it's Giants, and we got Giants on YouTube today too. Huh? We got the Giants on YouTube today. <laughs> Yo, I'm going, I'm going with Buffalo right now, though, man. They playing Miami. They probably won already. Now I think they won that game, though. That's game over. Somebody went. I was I was on my way from a visit. I had to go visit somebody today. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's right. Yo, so so I'm glad that we had to have this time to spend. You know, it's very rare that individuals like us, man, get a chance to sit down and vibe. Um, and I know me and me and Shaq, we never spoke about it in the past, but you and I, Francis, we actually did. I was like, yo, you know, if the opportunity ever presented itself. You know, come up on, on We Locked In. But, you know, we've been doing so much. You've been working. I've been working. We be, you know, we be literally all over the place. And I ran it by Mikey a while ago. He was like, yo, man, let's let's get at them type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know, eventually we're going to get an opportunity, man, to sit down with you guys. But this is historic right here. This is epic because we got two giants in the building. These are two trendsetters, two leaders, two legendary leaders, man, East Coast leaders. But, you know, their impact on the East Coast, man, has been extreme it has been highly effective instrumental in so many different levels that i can't even really really speak to that man but you know we're going to spend some time man just just talking to our brothers man and just you know talking about a few things obviously that we all can relate to talk about their past their present you know their future you know some of the things that that we got planned and stuff like that um this is special for us at we locked in because very rarely do we get guests like this of this magnitude but when we do you know, it's always a, a great opportunity for us to be able to put things into perspective. But, you know, so without further ado, you know, I know we got some questions. Mikey, you want to say anything before we get started? Nah, be good, man. You know, it's just a celebration of, um, you know, freedom, a life and the fights that we've been through. And you know where we at. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think this is good for the um for the community to show where, you know, where we came from and where we presently at um, and to show the transition to that. So, um, you know, I want these guys to speak to that and, uh, you know. And tell their stories how they want to tell it. You're that's got the, one thing to say before we start, though. What's up, bro? I want to salute all of us that came home and that's doing something with ourselves. You know what I mean, because you know, when people count us out. You know what I mean, and, you know, we showed them that, yeah, we're not going to be no statistics around here. You know right. I mean? So, I all my brothers that was in the trenches that came home, man, they're doing the right thing. Absolutely. The so right thing. Let's get this started, man. So, I mean, I, I, I know. We, we we spoke about the prison thing and eventually we'll we'll get to that at some point. But a lot of a lot of people don't know much about you guys just in general. They probably just heard the name Pee Wee, Shaq Brim, Shaq Brim, Pee Wee, etc. So let's speak, you know what I'm saying, to where you guys come from. Um, you know, your neighborhood, your upbringing briefly, man. Just give us a little backdrop about that. I mean, either y'all can, you know, go back and forth. It doesn't matter. You know, y'all got the floor. It's on y'all. I'm gonna let the giant speak first, guy. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to get Shaq Brennan, Boulevard, Brooklyn, East New York. <laughs> hey, no more, that's it. So, Ashford, on Ashford. 872. So 872, on the back of the project side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gun, gun talk, East New York. At a the time, they had the body count. Like, how many years, old say? It was, it was nasty. It was nasty. I'm, it was, I'm, it was, so, it was, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so thankful that I lost spare us from still <laughs> breathing. Word. What about you, Francis? Where you from, bro? Uh, Harlem, 126 and Lex, 129th for Madison, you know. Mm. So what, 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 you know, you said what? The east side of Harlem. So talk about your upbringing. What was your upbringing like, man? Uh, you know, I, yeah. I grew up in the 80s, the crack epidemic. You know how that was. You know what I mean? You know, Yo, I, had to get I, had a good, 
had a, we had a good upbringing, man. Just, I don't know what's wrong. We just took the wrong route. Yeah, I, you know, I have my parents, you know what I mean? But, you know, like he's, like Shaq said, you know, I mean, the streets was calling, and I fell victim to the, the streets. And then that's how that played out. Yeah, so, like, like growing up in the hood, like, what was some of the, 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 the influences outside of your, your, your apartment? Because I know you individuals had influences in your own neighbor, I mean, in your own apartments. But outside of that, what were some of the individuals in the community that, that had an impact on your development? Well, for me, was, for me, it was the drug dealers. I mean, you know, you've seen the drug dealers come through with all this money. The girls want them. They come through all these cars. And so for me, it was, it was that life. You know, you know, that's what Harlem was about back then. I mean, so that was, that was the influence on me. Yeah, y'all and y'all Harlem dudes, y'all got a different swag. Y'all, y'all on y'all on a different type of fly time, man. Y'all, 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 y'all bop to a different tune, man. You know, I, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, man. Brooklyn got a hell of a swag, man. I'm feeling y'all out there. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you already know, Mo. We already know, like outside our shit was like, and you know, my yeah, hell raised up. So you know, Lawrenton and all that. So you know, they got a they, they step too. So hey, that's fine. What about you, Shaq? Well, plus you go know, outside. Outside, I'm gonna go like you know we had we had Hellraiser on the outside. We go we we hitting up pink house and stuff like that. We we, we watch we watch it eighteen. No, you know, you know what I'm saying. Abbey, all them get that bread and all that. So that's that's all about for us. You know, and, and, and you know, you know what's crazy is that we 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 all come from good solid families, right? You know, mothers, fathers, and, and things like that. Um, but how is it that all of us who come from these good families we end up in the streets, right? How was yeah, it that? Yeah, what what was it? What what was it, what, what the was it about the streets? Good enough for us. So we wanted something better than that. I was just about to ask. So what 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 made it so that you know we felt the need to want to go to the streets when we had such that good stuff in our households? Like what was that about? Like even though mommy and them could only afford the regular nice and corduroy pants, we don't want that. You know what I'm saying? We want we want we 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 want we, we wanted to we wanted the low the low kamikazes and. The Benetons and all that, which mommy couldn't afford. For for me, it was I guess being rebellious, being told not to do this. Like now, nah, I'm gonna do this anyway because I see everybody else doing this. I mean, so I guess that was for me just being rebellious, being not not told what not to do. I mean, I I know I know both of y'all got I know all of us got locked up when we was young. Y'all got well, I got I spent time in juvenile, out of state, and be more and stuff like that. I didn't get a chance there to to meet. You, Francis, and Mikey a little bit later on physically, but I mean, we kind of all knew each other growing up. But so speak to speak to unfortunately, you know, you guys getting snatched up at your earliest age. Like, what was your introduction into the crime game and stuff like that? Like, how how old was you when you when you initially got snatched up? Like I was like 14, 13. I was in trial with Mike Tyson. Wow. Yeah, I initially, I initially got snatched up at 15. The DFR bid that came home at 16. It called the case that I recently came home for. The Harlem, and, Harlem Valley with the Central Park rapists, shit like that. And I know, I know, we all spent over twenty years inside. Um, right. and, and 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 that's not that's not to speak about it in a, in a you know to glorify any of that like that. But we all spent a, a lot of time. How much? How much did you actually bring them? I'm um, Shaq. I did fifteen. You did fifteen. I know you. Yours wasn't, but that's still a lot of time. What about you, friends? You did like 27, 28, right? I did twenty six. 26 and then mikey you know he, he he me and we always speak about the time that we did and we were all a lot of people don't and so for our listeners out there people don't realize that we all grew up in prison together so and and and, and, and a lot of times when we're speaking about that we're talking about this from the perspective that we missed our late teens um our early 20s our 30s and we came home in our 40s right so this is this is a a, a way to kind of highlight this as a cautionary tale for the youth out there that when you know you're playing with that life there's consequences to that so we just unfortunately had a i mean me and shaq we from the same projects but in this case all of us together we all like literally were raised in that environment but so, you know it's crazy i never got to spend time with mikey v that whole time like we bumped heads one time at attica I on the company i was moving on the company he's moving off the company but even even in spite of that because put this into perspective windy. we was in windy he was in Wendy's, yes. But even another block? Yes. But we never but, got the B. But Same put this into perspective. But y'all knew y'all knew each other. Y'all knew each other for like 25 years though. Of course. <laughs> Bobby, man, if he blow my phone up. When your name sound like son, you gonna know who, who, what's what. 
Yo, and that's crazy because that, me. That's me, why me. I be laughing, though, when, you know, about a lot of things people be saying because it's like, you know, I am not even get into that. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right. So now speak to speak to because look, sh- 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 well, sh- yo, yo, Mo, before yo. you move on, let me ask them when they yeah. first initially came to prison, what were the conditions like, and how did y'all adjust when y'all first stepped foot in prison the first time? So when I stepped foot in, I stepped foot in Rockets Island in 1991. At that time, Rockets Island was a battle zone, girl. Like it was averaging like 15 to 20 cuttings a day. That who, shit was who, was, who was battling against who? What was going on? It was a lot more boroughs. It wasn't no gang shit down there. Boroughs. It was, boroughs. It was more Harlem, the Bronx, but, Brooklyn, the Queens. You know, that shit, that's how that shit was going on. Girl. Like the only difference between like prison at that time was if you went up talking, it was the guards. That was it. You, you, you see how more hostile the guards are towards you, towards your skin color, and where you from type shit. But, like, the vibe, it was like, the, the dead vibes I came from, or, or went through, that environment prepared me for that environment. It was it was more towards the, the ones in authority who, who, who was different from, from, from the game. <laughs> yeah, and you guys, you guys came in, so, and for the record, um, I came in after you guys, and this is just for anybody who, you know, I always, you know, like to pay respect to those that came before. So you guys were already like in that in that environment where we were, you know, you guys are older than us. So yeah. y'all came in a lot earlier than we did. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was there already 91, 90, 91, 92. Y'all had an opportunity to see things that we didn't get a chance to, you know, experience. Um, so y'all experiences were totally a lot different than than when we came through. Um, but as y'all moved, as y'all moved forward on Rikers Island, then y'all went up north. At what point did you, you, you two guys meet? Like, what, what did, what did that, what did that look like when you, when you, when you two guys got together? Well, you paid me for security. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like eighty pounds soaking wet, man. So I was, I was a big guy. You was did. always small, PB. I was too. <laughs> nah, nah, we was in the mess hall. We go to the mess hall together. And hold on, and what, and what, and what jail though? Casacky. What what when, year when what Kasaki years was it? That was when Kasaki was worse than eighty percent of the other up top of, of North Jails, you heard? So what year was this? Old Thomas didn't even want to come to the cap. What what year was this? Are you talking about? Like nine nine three nine four nine five nine six. Nine, so y'all y'all can't yo. So y'all 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 were like y'all and Kasaki for a lot of people who don't know, it was you know five out there. there. It's like it's a it's a legendary jail, unfortunately, in the state of New York, and it's where ninety percent, ninety five percent of younger younger um so called prisoners were being housed. It was literally like gladiator school. A lot of the older individuals didn't want to go down there because they felt like the younger bros were so wild and crazy that it was just it was out of control. It was literally crazy. Um, you heard about the cat in the streets? I was like, yo, the cat is all the way lit. Cages and- Cages is fucking you, you, you knew if you went through the cat, it was like I'm just gonna just act crazy for no <laughs> reason. No, so just get crazy with. It. So, and, and, and yeah, Jose Montalvo, you mentioned that just like Green. Green was a, a you know, but it was different right, in the cat. I was right? in Green in nine four. That's where I was at. You heard? So what about what about what about? We know it was wild over there. Whatever the case may be, like that, and y'all was in the mess hall, whatever, like that. But do y'all remember when y'all you two guys y'all first like met each other? Do y'all remember that first I, encounter? I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really remember that shit like that. Plus, I, I know. Mean, I know it was nine five for sure that we met each other. But I know. It was, I, I know what year. I know. I know the specific place. And shit like, but for like for the first day and all that. Nah, but I, I know. We, I know we linked up like a month ago. I fucking with him, JF. Yeah, we JF definitely. man. Wow. JF, you no know say it's number number one three eighty in them down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So speak, speak to the culture at the time. So this is what you know. This, this is because this is all happening, and, and and y'all don't even know what's about to take place. And people 20, 25, 30 years don't even realize that this is that what's happening in this moment is that this is history in the making. And you guys don't yeah. even realize what's about to take place. And y'all don't even realize y'all placing all this as it's about to take place. It's happening. And then now we kind of all know later on, you know, when you start mentioning names and stuff like that, that you guys were like literally like the the first group of individuals, the first individuals who who were who were brims in in, in New York. Now speak to that, man, because a lot of people don't really know that part of the history, man. Yeah, giant. 
What was that? <laughs> <laughs> this is my turn about to switch to talk. Whatever, right. man. <laughs> nah, yo. Now nah, it was um, it, the whole, the whole, the whole part more came to us too from, you know, Omar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The whole part. So Omar was in the building with y'all, or yeah, Omar, no. Omar, Omar, Omar was the, um, the best one with us. Him, him and three eighty, they pulled up at the same time. Him and because they was going back and forth to court, back and forth, coming back, coming back, going back and forth to court shit. So. Around that Pacific time, the the hood, the hood more or less was basically the name was brought to us through through Omar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then um, that's basically how you got your nine, and that's basically how when he was going back and forth, he told us he said, "Yo, correct me if I'm wrong, people. Correct me if I'm if, correct me if I'm missing something." Oh, let me correct you. Basically, he was going back off. When yeah, the time he came back up, he said, "Yo, you know," he said, "Yo." This is what this is, bye bye bye. And when I come back down here, I'm gonna um give the hood to such and such. The <laughs> such and such. Yeah. Shout out to the big bro. Nah, I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to bro. Shout out to bro. Already know. He be coming home soon. Absolutely. Um, but originally, the name was supposed to be nine five for the year, but Mac decided to go with five nine. I mean, but originally that's how it's supposed to be. Because so, the year was popping off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, were, were all of y'all, were all of y'all the original ones? Were all of y'all like in the same block with each other? Yeah, like we was on the same side. Uh, yeah, me, JF, Dada, Epo. Oh, oh, R. I. P. Epo. R. I. P. Epo. That's my yeah. son right there, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No, that's the man. Yo, man. What about what about Bum Bum? We ain't even mentioned Bum, Bum man. Bum, Bum. Oh man, Bum is my son, man. Yeah. Yo, man, and, and 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 for context, right? You know, and I and I know that it's very important that the listeners out there they hear this because, um, first, first of all, you guys, how old were you at this time? Yeah, people? yeah, I wanted to get into more. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 how old were you, man? I was, I was, I was, I was nineteen. I was nineteen, going on twenty. Yeah, I was, I was basically like basically like same thing. Nineteen going on twenty. I was fucking um ninety five. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to. I, I don't want to say that you guys were kids, but you guys were young. You guys were youth. Y'all were youth, and y'all were part of this 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 instrumental part of of, of the history, and and that's very important because what I want what I want to emphasize to the listeners out there is that listen, whether positive or negative, when you look at any pr- movements that that took place throughout history, in many instances you've seen individuals who were young actually moving moving the crowd. So you know, that that's something that that needs to be discussed. Um. I remember when I first heard about bees and seas on the island. Well, I'm, I'm going to be up north, you know what I'm saying? I heard about bees and seas on the island and shit. We wasn't really thinking too much of that, thinking too much of it, whatever have you. But but I, but I was hearing about that shit going on down there. But basically, that's when we say we like we was the first hit up top. That's what we said because everybody everybody came on that hood at that time was already up top, and we already had our ties with whoever was whoever was mingling amongst the yards. And doing whatever have you, so that's why I look, that's why I look shit was a little more easy and smoother road than those. Of us. So it was coming from the island, coming up top, landing in spots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a good point. And but it's it's strange because it just so happened to be y'all guys. That's see, that's the beauty of that. It wasn't me. It wasn't Mikey. It wasn't. It wasn't I. It wasn't this person. It wasn't that person. It just so happened to be y'all. So y'all have a y'all have a unique relationship with each other because you guys remember and y'all recall everything that took place in y'all era when y'all had these special moments together. And I always want to emphasize that because you know without that right there taking place, we don't get a lot of the other stuff that followed. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And um, so it's always good to put that into context or whatever like that. So you know, so all right, so now you you guys are. Are, are, are young, y'all, y'all doing what y'all doing, whatever the case may be, like that. Well, and let me get some context on one thing, yeah, yeah, bro. Um, non trade was popping at that time, right? There was other sets. Why choose that? And it's like a two prong question what was the climate to make you want to be blood at that time? What made y'all want to join a prison gang at that time? Great question, Mikey. Me personally, it was like more of the rhetoric. What do you mean? Like the, the way the way he spit it, plus plus me plus me observing shit, right? I'm already, I'm already I'm already observing certain shit 
how the not trying to be racist or nothing like that, but it was a fact. These Spanish motherfuckers used to used to have the, the, the foot on niggas' hats. No sense, no sense, especially over there and all that shit. So plus you know, I never liked the bully, son. And the, the bully at the time was Latino, son. Yeah. Yeah. All right, not so so for me, like you said, non trainer was popping at the time, but non Trey wasn't brought to us. Yeah, we ain't know about doing that shit. I when Matt came there, we me personally, I knew nothing about Damu. When he, when he mentioned blood, I'm like, yo, nigga, I'm from New York. What the fuck are you talking about some blood? It's not California. This is my mindset. You know, JF knew him personally because him and JF was in Baltimore together. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we just vibe when he breaking it down. You know, the brotherhood and all that. This for us. Now, I mean, like Shaq said, we see what's going on as far as motherfuckers trying to be bullies, but not really bullies. I mean, so it's like, I'm like, yeah, this is our thing. You know what I mean, yeah, I want to be a part of this. You know what I mean, so that's that's why I decided to do that at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, I plus I do plus I'm doing some history on the Panthers and stuff of that nature. So we like, so we so we especially when they quiet that type shit. It? And so I'm making my little military soldiers and shit like that. I was, I was going with that. So wait a minute. So when I was brought to you, so when blood was brought to you, it was brought from a revolutionary Black Panther perspective. Exactly. Same thing. So you, you you say the same thing. Um, we yeah yeah the way the way it was brought it was it, it was broken down just like this. This is us. We fighting against oppression. Know what I mean, basically like that. That's that's how it was yeah. Brought. And, and, um, and so so why did why did was because I noticed that to Mikey's question, y'all didn't choose any other any other hood. Y'all chose that hood. Why? Why did y'all like choose that? That hood? that hood was presented. That hood was so presented to us. Being that being that he popping this hood off, he wanted to build this hood. Right here, and then go back down and build it up down with back on the rock. Yeah, you know, and I'm glad. it was it was like those brought to us. And being like he's breaking how he's breaking down the revolutionary military and all that other stuff. That's what and, and, the number of the what, really was black revolutionary intelligent military soldiers. Absolutely. And this where the this where the confusion come with 380 because you always got people say 380s was was one of the first hats. Yeah, that's my bro. I love him, but he wasn't because when he, 80 actually came there, he was non trade. He was already non trade. We didn't know he was non trade because we, like I said, I didn't know nothing about Dom at all. The Dom is too. So that, you know, we saying B Dog. This, you no, know, this is the bro. It's the B Dog. Now, I mean, that's what we saying back then. But, and that's what that's what that was at the end of the day. Just like, just like uh, Dada, but Dada happened to be coming on the first non bridge. But when Dada came here, he was already blood. Yeah, like, you know I mean, but he wasn't claiming a set. We, I didn't know he was blood because me and Dada was already linked up before me and Shaq linked up because we was already on some Harlem and Bronx shit up there because it's the same thing from like Raggers Island. Everybody fuck with they, they, they boroughs. I mean, Rochester niggas fuck with Rochester and Buffalo niggas. The, Bro the Brooklyn niggas fuck with the Brooklyn niggas. Just like that. So me, me and Dada was already linked up. So by the time 380 and um, OG Mac got there, Dada was locked up. So that's the first person they asked about. I mean, yeah. so. And, and 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 Dada 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 man, I ain't see Dada in a long time. Man. Dada, I just got an email from Dada. He said he he on his way home. Yo, man, I ain't see Dada in a very very long time, man. You know, and 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 this is this is this is the the, the crazy thing about about these relationships that you know we were we were under under some stressful conditions. You know, you was dealing with this white supremacist stuff that was happening because the, the majority of the police locking us in our cages was literally. You know, white racist officers and stuff like that. But yet, right. you, you guys, you guys banded together, and y'all said that y'all was gonna start this particular set with the with the approval of Mac at the time. And 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 for the record, you know, your, your you guys' intentions were one thing, but you had no knowledge about much of what had already preceded y'all in terms of people's reputations and none of that. Only thing I was focusing on was just doing the doing Police. the work. That's who you said. What? Police was very different then too. No, police was very, very different. Police knew that they could get their whole knocked off, you heard? Yeah. So they would move, they would move, they would move accordingly. What messed all that up was when they started doing those new bids. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Find that new bids, that new that new bid situation. That's when they came out. That's when it really got rocky with it, you heard? Yeah, thanks, thanks changed for, for, for the worse. So, all right. So, so mo moving forward now. So, I mean, y'all got a whole bunch of time, or whatever the case may be, like that. So, what's the what? Where did y'all? Where did y'all kind of like go out after out after Katsaki? Because I know y'all, 
everybody ended up venturing out. Not everybody stayed in the cat. Everybody like kind of went all over the place, planting Attica, etc. Oh, yeah. So for me, it was a blessing. I landed in the Attica. So when I got the Attica, now I got to see Damu at his fullest. What I year was to, this? This was nine six. I went to Attica. So now Quell is there. So B is there. Pimp is there. Um. Hitman is dead. All the big roses in the building. You know what I mean? Yeah. Quell is, Quell is act sack though. He in, he in the snake pit. But everybody's there. Uh, um, again, Bino is there. Like, everybody that's, like, legendary was there at the time. You know what I mean? So, now I got to really know what that move was about. Because, remember, all of us, because once Mac and Brady got there, they wound up leaving immediately. So, it's just left to us. You know what I mean? So, we really don't know much because... It, we brand new, we babies. So once I got there, I got the the taste of what blood was. Yeah, and that's crazy. I, I I actually credit being on the island. We credit like Shaquel and So being them for for helping us with our development as well. Because individuals was young, young but immature. We didn't have an understanding of the concepts of it. So it was like we were young and we were looking to do the right things. We were trying to stand on you know standing on what was right. But right. we needed more of an understanding of what the lifestyle was about. And I think they did a good job of trying to help us get a better understanding of that. Did y'all go through the same, like, development? These are some of the individuals y'all crediting with kind of, like, helping y'all evolve, which y'all yes. understand of what Damo sure. represented, right? I, I credit all of them because they was before me. Like I said, I, like, for me to land in Attica was a blessing because all the big bros was there. And then whoever was in the Attica, I landed in Clinton with the other half. Yeah, so. <laughs> Mad, Pimp, Mad Dog, fucking Ra. Omar games, fucking tie. Everybody was over there. Yeah, and that's and that and that's good for context too because these individuals. And a lot of people don't remember that man because they wasn't they weren't there. But this is when you got around older individuals and they did their best to kind of like instill certain values and principles and help you evolve. Individuals yeah. passing books to you. You know, you got a chance to right. learn about your black culture and your black right. history and stuff like that. And you had to do essays and stuff like that. Nope. Did y'all yeah. had, had, had similar experiences like that? No. Nope. Exactly. Because a mentor was just popping off then. A lot of people don't know about a mentor, but it's double nine now. Absolutely. I mean, a mentor was popping off there. Lion was there. Di was Big Lion, yeah. They was, every, all the big bros on some education shit. Yo, here, read this. Here, go this book. Know what I mean? Learn about this. Learn about that. Know what I mean? So it was more, like I said, they did a phenomenal job with the raising of the youth. Because at the time, yeah. I was still a youth. Know what I mean? So yeah. I, credit, I credit all those before me. Absolutely. Yeah. And we had, I know you guys probably saw some of the episodes where we had some of our, our predecessors up here. Shout out to Soul B. Shout out to, um, to Shaq Quell. Um, definitely shout out to those individuals. Like, look, Free Tankhead. Tankhead is back up in there. You know, these individuals who came before us, you definitely got to give them their props because they were instrumental in helping us become more evolved. Um, I never, you know, we, we can speak about the negative. We know that the negative existed, but for the most part, these individuals did their best to try to help groom us in a, in a very hostile and violent, violent environment. So shout out to those individuals like that. So Shaq, what, 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 what was some of the individuals who had, who were instrumental in, in your development? The same, even outsiders like Tom Cross. All right. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, um, a bunch of, a bunch of already old time of gangsta niggas already. That's inside of blood. Not hey, blood. That's not blood. You feel me? But like I like you said, the, the the elders always kept either a book in your hand, some homework to go, some homework to go search for, and it was it's something positive, you right? Yeah, people don't realize that you know a lot of times, and, and and don't get me wrong, it was it was definitely hostile, it was wild and crazy. That just unfortunately for the prison environment, I don't know, no prison that wasn't wild and crazy in the eighties and nineties and stuff like that. So let's just call it what it is. The reality is that um, we was really big on educating ourselves. Like that was that was something that was a must. It wasn't like you were going to sit around not reading books. I mean, we used to have to come out in the pound and we used to have to come outside and give verbal essays on books we read. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yes. we had to talk about it. We had to expound upon it. We had to write essays upon it. You know, we had to pass the book on to somebody else and then teach them, you know, things like that. Make sure that they taught, they, they learned. So, I mean, what 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 was some of the books that you 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 brothers read while 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 y'all was while y'all was um <laughs> basically everything yeah right? like uh I'm gonna tell you what kept us below radar before for a while you know but not, not only the but not only the fact that we was one of the smallest hoods in 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 in, 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 in the spot you know 
We would like be the small yeah. you know so like being small, like being small, you heard? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Problems. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nah. they, they, they kept a lot of books in our hand. The first book I actually was sent was um George Jackson blood. The um Blood of Ma. Yes. But for me, it was to events, so I couldn't I always it. say that. <laughs> I could yo, bro. I couldn't even comprehend the book, you heard? Me neither. Me so neither. It was like that by the door. Yeah. So did, like, for Hold the Pale Horse. Yeah. The Unseen Hand. Everything. Taste of Power. Taste of Power. Taste White of power, power. Black Blood. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Spain. Elaine Brown. So we read all the Panther books. It's just, 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 just too many. That was mandatory. The homies it, was definitely going mandatory. Put that in your hands. Facts. Yes. Everything. You had to read it. They was giving all, everybody the books you had to read. You had, you had, you had time frames. Yes. Just no shit, son. I'm not going to lie. Y'all was the smallest, but y'all was very organized, structured, and militant. Yo, when, when you thought about when you thought about y'all, y'all was like different. Y'all y'all was small. Y'all were y'all were very it was it was interesting. Y'all had a different, it was different. You had the you had the flamboyant ones. You had right that was flamboyant, right? You had the you know the GKB that was flamboyant with that, right? You know, you had your wild and crazy ones. Ah, all right. But then y'all was like more organized. Y'all was structured. It seemed like y'all had a different purpose. Um, and 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 I, and I, every time I got around one of y'all, because y'all could have been like literally one in a jail. It yes. wasn't like 15, 20 in a jail. That's how I felt when I got the Attica. Everybody was GKB. I'm like, God damn. I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm like this. G Shy here, Billy here. Where all this shit came from, sir? But you know, it's crazy. I'll tell you what's crazy about all that. We never kept in contact with each other when we all left Kawasaki. At least not me. I ain't run back into Shaq until... When we was all in Upstate together. Nah, nah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was up yeah. there. We all, we all was up there at that time. That's when I ran back into Shaq. We, we just... Matter, we, matter of fact, I used to call over to y'all Y'all yes. was in the same building with Mikey. Wasn't y'all all in the oh, same hey. building? No, we was in nine. I was in, I was in nine at I was in nine at first. I was Me eight. and Amo and, and, and um Black on numbers in eight. Ten. No, no, that was oh, eight. That was, was eight. That was in eight. Black was in numbers eight. Yeah, that was in eight. They was in eight. Y'all was wait, I think y'all was in ten. A week. Me and Shaq when I got with Shaq, we was in the eleven building. That was eleven. Yeah. So was I. So Shaq, I used to call you, was you in 10 over. Building. You was in ten building. I was in ten, but I was, was in nine in too. I was in ten and nine. It's it's crazy. It's been so long ago. I can't forgot the building. I've been in all of shit, so it was like yeah, me too. Yeah, I, me I, too. I used to call over to y'all when y'all was like right in front of me. I think y'all was in. I think that was ten, but I can't remember exactly. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a long time, man. So now go ahead, Mike. I ain't gonna lie. I was um. I don't think I was never in eleven. But I was at eight. I, and I think I was in eleven. Nine, one. ten. They kept sending me back to eight block. Back to eight block a lot. And every time I pull back up, he didn't beat his bunky up. So they like, yo, uh, manly, yeah, you going back with Cheshire? <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's a big guy. I don't know. I don't know who would even dare. As soon as if I came into a bunk with him, as soon as I saw him, I'm popping off like immediately. Like I'm, you just, I'm not staying in there with him. Where we get into an argument and he won't be like, yo, who you talking to? I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. I'm yeah. off this. He's like 6'9, 350. Yes. <laughs> yo, yo, man. So I right, man, fast forward, man. So, you know, I mean, and, and, and it's funny that you guys are saying that y'all came from this enclosed environment in Katsaki. Y'all don't even have no freaking knowledge of what's going on around the state. So when y'all finally get there, y'all see all these. Different sets and different hoods. Y'all like, oh shoot, it's lit. It's going down. Like, oh my god, he no, wasn't lit. Cause I'm looking at some of these niggas like, how the fuck, how the fuck that happened? <laughs> it's always you. Yeah, it's always like, you to say that. Or, or hold on, I was just, I just saw you like five months ago, nigga. And how the fuck that happened? Like, nah, no. I, who did that? Like, it was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a little, uh, little, little spooky out there, son. Shout out to Wise Red, man. And yeah, shout out to Wise Red. Yeah, shout out to Wise Red, man. 
That's yeah, what Bassett came about. Bassett tried to clean some of that shit up, right? Yeah. Because it, it, it started getting out of control. It was like, okay, this is too it's too many now. It's just getting ridiculous now. But all right, so speak about your experiences as y'all y'all continue to evolve. At the same time, y'all continue to evolve, though. Y'all are now, you know, because things changes are happening, you know, and things is happening, and y'all, y'all, y'all looked at you know, as as leaders in y'all in y'all respective way. So how did how did you guys like like understand y'all roles in spite of being young? Y'all still was looked at as being leaders to individuals who were even older than y'all. Like, like what was that about? I would be honest. I didn't even want my role. Yo. My role was forced on me. So when the division started, because at the time I was a three star. So when the division started, we had people choosing sides. So you had the big bro is mm -hmm. he tried to give son to Al G. None of us knew who Al G was. Yeah. So he's like, so who the fuck is who the fuck is Al G? No disrespect. That's the big bro. No disrespect to Al G. I mean, that's the bro. Free Al G. But um, free Al G. That's a fact. He like, yo, we give us the Al G. So I'm, my thing was like, yo, hold on, you skipping face, da da, and everybody that was there. Like, who was this guy? Yeah. So we telling, we was in contact at face at the time. To me, I'm gonna be honest. I thought face was just a, a name that they just put out there. I thought he was like a myth. I, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody never seen him. Nobody never, I knew, never ran into him. So I thought he was a myth. So I'm telling we, me and Shaq and, and, and me and Upstate, we tell him, like, we write Dada. Dada is a South Pole with everybody. So we like, yo, Dada, you gotta step up. Dada ain't wanna step up. So here goes Shaq, yo, we, you gotta step up because out of all of us, you got the most time. And I'm like, damn, bro, I don't even want this responsibility. I mean, then mind you, a lot of the other big bros, I don't know personally. Like, I ain't know, I ain't know Goo. I ain't know um, Benji. I ain't know, I ain't know Is. I ain't, like, a lot of them, if they was, I didn't know them. We just know each other through word of mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, to take on that role, like I said, was just forced upon me. It's just that we the, family been cool. the family supported that decision, and they, and they stood firm on that decision. We have been cool. Just still just being fine on brim, you be here, proud time. That's it. Yes. Pushing, blood up. Ah, 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 all other shit. Yeah, I, I agree. So so but and, and, but but <clears throat> so we 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 all above our heads. And you know you know when when people start politics and shit going on with, with amongst them, amongst amongst these niggas and shit, right? Like, like you said, it's it's just, it's just like two two paperworks, like two different joints from there. Who are they gonna tell us who gonna be in our shit? And I'm like, yo, son, he's not even that material. And nah, I remember that Shaq because that's when you you was with you was with Pee Wee in the cell with him, and you was writing yeah. me. And yes. I remember you specifically telling me you was like, yo, you like, yo, no, I'm I'm, I'm me, me and we said like, stand down, like right now, things is it's, it's crazy right now. It's about to... This was this all that though, but I'm like, yo. We don't get it twisted. We will we'll, we'll, we'll go with protocol, all the other shit. But niggas ain't niggas ain't no fucking test tool dummies in this motherfucker, though. Yeah, nah, so, I understand before that. Before this, like you said, before blood, you have to be a man on your own. Period. Anyway, true. You feel me? Because like like I said, I I, I, didn't, I didn't need this, you heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I chose it, but I didn't need this, you heard? So once niggas dubbed that, then he felt some type of way, and then they hollered they hollered us on this side. Um, that side don't want to holler to this side, yo. Well, you, well, Shaq and we, y'all hold that down, but such, such is a dog. And we like, like right. Yeah. This is a lot of people don't know this. They trying to dub face. So we yeah, like, no, I remember what? that. Y'all not dub face. face. And like I said, we don't know the bro. I don't know the bro. So I stands, be, be, like you said, we don't even like with the nigga, but we knew who he was. I stand at the time was like, listen, you ain't touching nothing over here. Y'all ain't touching nothing over here. Y'all ain't been touching nothing over here. And that's what was that. I and mean, and the bro's the bro. And that yeah. and that's what and that's what um Todd was like. Told you, told you, you should be independent like we we rock, bring the stones. Yo, you know, you know, and, and I'm listening to y'all, man. And, and and Mikey, Mikey was dead, man. We all was dead. I, yo, I remember feeling that one time. 
I didn't know what the hell was going to go. Like, so we all remember there was a time where we were all like united, right? And it was all in together now. We was all like one big family, I'm right? Just, it was just like, yo, we. I ain't going to do all this shit right here. No, 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 I'm just saying it was like we was like tight, right? Yeah. But then I remember it was like I didn't know what tomorrow would bring. It was like I didn't know if the next person was going to jump ship to where he was aligned to. He was going to jump ship to where he was aligned to. And it was like everybody was like going in their respective corners. And it was like we was all trying to figure out what, what, like what what's going to. It's like everybody's what, what, waiting for the next what, kite to come next, right? Right. It was like, yo, what's going on? And I remember feeling really, I always look back to that moment. And I was so impressionable and young at that time. So much energy. I really, I feel like I got used a lot. Um, and I didn't know, I wasn't, I, I, I was strong enough. I think I was, but I kind of still was following the trend being pulled of what the popular and, and I'm usually strong on my feet, like, you know, standing for, but I kind of feel like I was taking sides and it, it, it really destroyed our relationships with each yeah. other. And I'm, I'm going to eventually get to that. But um, being young, man, you said you didn't want that. Shout out to Ty Guns, man. Um, I, I, I don't I don't never want to, like, invalidate the leadership piece, man, because you said that you did not want it. But once you realize you had to step up in the family themselves. It's like, yo, we need you to do that. Like, what what was that like for you in terms of the scrutiny now? Now yeah. people know this is because you you went from being we, you went from being Lil Wee, we all love you, right. to now public, okay. you, you, you became like public enemy, like well, overnight. Well, well, yeah, yeah. you, you became well, public enemy. You was public enemy for a while. Yo, bro, I'm gonna keep it real. You, out too. you was the most beloved little brother. We all love we, but then it was like, yo, I ain't feeling that. I don't know. Because, so check because, out, yo, because, because the powers that be, that on because it, because the powers that be felt like they who they was who they was, and niggas what things niggas wasn't accepting all that shit they were saying. So right. anybody think anybody think could have been up there and been the same thing? Probably. I could probably yeah. no, nah, I agree. I agree. What you probably, say, no, probably. Oh, anybody name who ain't put up there and been the same thing? Absolutely. I don't no. I don't think so because you gotta realize guns did except, the same thing. Except face, maybe. Listen, gun guns guns did the same thing, right? Same thing that we did. He it was really no backlash on it. I mean. But the most part I hate was the division they try to cause between me and Two Face. I hated oh, that. I always hated that. People trying to take over the army. People trying to I do this, always, not knowing. And that's what I think. That's where a lot of the hate came from. Right. But even right. even to outside, I was an outsider. But to look at that, like, yo, what is what is going on? I'm just keeping it real. Like, yo, what is right. going on? Is but, he tripping? But it was horrible. Little to their understanding and knowing the stance came because they try to fade face. Exactly. This is where our stance came from. Cause I Yo, been, them like, same niggas who was saying that shit, oh, what, you gonna let them niggas do that shit? Was them same niggas that was telling us, yo, fuck with our shit. You and him rock that, but something's a dub. He he I, I yo, he on medication, he ain't sure, he ain't sure long on medication. I'm like, listen, I don't know the bro. I mean, he can, he I can all that shit all he want, but you not just gonna dub the hat like that. No, like, I'm like, I know the bro was giving that, and that's what he is. You know what I mean? And when I made that move, and this was the directive to all anybody that was hat. Until face come back on board with us, because we don't know what he's doing, I'm holding it down. Once the big bro get in tune with us, he can step up and have his spot. But the outside beings don't know this because they trying to cause a division within the team. Yo, you know, yo, you know, yo, you know what we yo, I always knew that about you. There's not one person that really knows. And we know a lot. We know the inside stuff. They never told me that you did anything other than that. That your 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 agenda was always to just make sure that things were organized and structured, and that you y'all was trying to bring back the essence of that life. And the reality was that, unfortunately, man, you know, I want to ask this question: Do y'all think? And I know you. I know the answer to this already. Do y'all think the way the Panthers were destroyed that? Authorities also utilize these differences to to make sure that there was no unity 
I'm going to talk with us. I think so because me and Face never landed with each other a whole time. Never. Until until we was That's beefing. Crazy. Into South that was, And that was purposely done. If if when I got to Attica, he left Attica. When I got to Wendy's, he left Wendy's. When he came to Wendy's, I left Wendy's. And even the powers that we, shit that we don't see uh, we know, that we know at this time, they used to play without mail. Hell yeah. Yep. That's a fact. They used to play without mail, son. Hell I think yeah. I even got false letters. I even got false letters from people that never I, sent them to me. I got photocopy letters. I Yo, got, I got Mikey. I I I I I swear by law, I got mail that I know for a fact came from the authorities. I, yeah. Now I don't care if you tell me I'm a conspiracy theorist. I don't care. No, I, I believe. I you. used to read this and say, "There's no question. This is a fake person." Listen, <laughs> I'm getting letters. You know, we all on mail watch. One way, well, everybody. everybody. On watch. I'm getting letters <laughs> with big blood up. In big bold letters at the heading, coming through upstate and Southport. How? Or or, the, or, 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 or some letter even come to your gate. A ticket. To <laughs> Yo, listen, I got letters from jails out of at, d- down south jails. You know they got a stamp on it saying what jail it is, and and it says this on the front of the jail. And I'll be and I was showing this dudes like, "Yo, look at this. I ain't even supposed to get this letter." This from a whole dude writing me straight from another jail, straight here, talking about, yo, I need you to break down everything. I'm down here by myself. Give me all the information. I'm like, yo, that's why I never wrote nobody like that. If I ain't know you and nobody couldn't vouch for you, I didn't write you. Yo, yeah, that's a and, and you and you're right. We and I and I wasn't I wasn't doing that too because I realized that that was something that they could definitely use against you. And the, the reality was that, you know, think about what we was talking about doing though. We was talking about empowering ourselves. That's what the that's what the basis of it was about. It's just that it was in a very hostile, a toxic environment. But a lot of us didn't look at ourselves as like being like far out there on that level. We wasn't. We was really for each other. Yes, we was. For, we was. We were for each other. Uh, we were. It's, it's just that, huh? We were. We, we were. We Yo, Mikey. We we, we, we was for <laughs> each other, and and I remember. And a lot of I told this to Shaq the other day. A lot of people don't remember, don't know this, but when I first came home was in '96, and Graveyard brought me home. You know Graveyard, we. That's the hat. That's the hat. Yeah. That was my first hood. People don't realize that. People don't know that about me. And that was in Mount McGregor. Me, Shout Freedom. Graveyard. Yo, Graveyard is my son. Shout out to Hannibal. Shout out to Graveyard. But that's Shout another. To we we gonna go into a whole another war in the mediums that was crazy. But listen to me. Let me tell you something, man. I really believe that the powers that be did everything in their power to divide us, to break us all up. And they they actually they actually were successful in that regard because we ended up going at each other. Whether it was me with not me and Mikey, but I'm I'm gonna eventually get to to, to me and me and we and stuff like that. But just the, the fact that we were at odds with each other, where at yeah. one time we would have been willing to lay our lives on the line for each it's other. Trouble. We were fighting for easy. It, I couldn't come into a jail and hear, yo, the police jumped on we and threw him down a flight of stairs. And they this did is what? what? Listen, and this was this was going without us even knowing each other in the flesh. We didn't even exactly. know each other in the we flesh to like that. For each other. That's what I thought to say. It was a different, it was a different vibe, a different energy than with, with this gang shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that's 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 missing right now completely. So so as 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 we know, all the division came about, and then now y'all y'all realize that the need now is to protect the brand because there's so much going on. You realize you can't trust the leaders who at one time remember we put our trust in our leadership for so long that we start realizing that yo they're trying to manipulate and 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 and, and put put us in their little camp so that they can have everybody start building their numbers up. And so how do you feel now at the point where you like you know what we just got to protect the brand? At all odds, what's your mentality like that? And, and, and before this, before all the all the madness start, before dudes start trying to go at y'all and everything like that, like at that point, where you're just trying to protect your brand. What's your what's your mindset on that right there? And so, while was born, right? But I, even with that, like my mindset was like, when we think of B to the L, right? So I'm like, yo, Brim Love is B to the L. We gonna show them through our bond with Diamond supposed to still be like, know what I mean. 
and that was it for me because B to L is like Brim Love. It, it mean the same thing to me. You know what I mean, what about you, Shaq? Basically, same thing. Brim loyalty, Brim Love. That's oh. that, that's what they that's that's what they basically made that shit into. Yeah, yo, and and I remember I remember hearing from you, Shaq, and you was telling me at the time. This is at the at the beginning that you was like, "Yo, Mo, man, tell 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 family to be easy." I'm over here with, with, with bro. Y'all gonna be all right, right? We going we trying to take care because we I, I kind of felt like you guys felt that individuals was like losing yeah. what the yeah. definition of, of the of the Damu way was about. And y'all wanted to kind of bonds, preserve it, right? A lot of good bonds, a lot of good friendships, a lot of good associations, a lot of love fell out through that shit right there, sir. Facts through those fraction times. When we had when it was when it was beating the L of blood love, son, through the fraction times, a lot was lost, my dude. A lot that we even gained. Well, let me let me let me so, so being that you touch on that, right? And I gotta touch on this issue without obviously revealing so much. So I me and me and we, and we we is my brother, right? And you know, I, I love we. But me and we didn't meet each other physically until we got together in, in the L back oh, in my 08. Um, and oh, nah. I was oh, nah. Nah. oh, nah. And the, the reality was that I chose a side. I chose a side and it created, it fractured our relationship. And, you know, I know our relationship will never be the same because, you know, we, we, I chose a side. And we, you remember, like you came to me and you were straight up. You was like, yo, Mo, this is what's happening. You have more knowledge about, you have more knowledge of the inner workings of what was going on. Right. And I'm, only, I'm just coming out the box from doing five years. So you trying to school me like, yo, Mo, this is what's going on. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, and I kind of feel like I acted emotionally and I didn't think. And it put us in a, it put me in a situation where I think I overstepped my boundaries. And that, yo, bro, I still live with that. Because the reality was that it put us at odds with each other. Um, and I never intended for my relationship with you to be like that. Like, never in my life. Like, I always felt like when you when your name was mentioned, like, you was like my bro, bro. Um, but I just kind of feel like I was defending our brother as well. Right. And I was so caught up in my own emotions at that time that I was, like, blind to anything that was happening. But and I just feel like I just made, like, irrational choices. And I just... Not Getting only worse that, worse. not only that, blood shit already happened. Well, ah, yeah. so I understood the situation. Know what I mean, that's why I, I harbor feelings, but I didn't harbor feelings. That's why we was able to link up out here and just vibe. Know what I mean? And they they say with time heals wounds heal. Know what I mean? At yeah. the end of the day, so I understood everybody was manipulated and misled. Know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I, I was able to, to grasp that, understand that. Like, yeah, that's my brother. I understood his position. Know what I mean? Well, I want to I want to apologize to you, man. Um, like for real, bro. Like, um, you know, I could do this openly now. Like, I mean, I really want to apologize to you and say, yo, bro, like. Yeah, it's hard, bro. Definitely so hard, this, bro. This the deal, right? You know, um, I always felt like 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 Don Moo, the movement was for the people. And y'all know my reputation up north. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna get into that, but it was always against, you know what I'm saying, the, the dark, the, the, right? Exactly. The, yeah. So I, I always felt like, you know what I'm saying, like that was what my reputation was, but I feel like it got dark for me, you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of crossed those lines. That's why I say when I apologize, bro, I mean that because I feel like I betrayed your trust and you trusted me. You dig what I'm saying? You trusted me like, and you always treated me like, yo, this is my bro. And um, yo, bro, that always hurt me, man. Even to this day, even when I'm talking to my wife, I'm like, yo, man, this is my brother right here. And it's like, 
I got caught up in my in that. So for you to say that shows your wisdom, but um, it's just a lot, we man. So I'm I'm thankful that man we could sit down today and look. You know, I know we're gonna eventually get to it, but look, you you reach out to me and now we're talking to the youth and yes. yo, we're talking to the yo. It's it's just, it's crazy, man. But um, um Listen, everything but, comes back around three sixty five. I mean, God had a plan for us. Facts. You know, it's a fact. So so now now you going through because now because you went you went from being the most beloved little brother to everybody to the public enemy number one, right? So how did you deal with that? Because that was a lot, bro. Not everybody's able to stand firm and uh you know and still be like the target of everybody's you know hatred and and still not you know stand firm. So what what was that experience like for you? It was it was a lot. Like you said, it was a lot. And it's like damn, like. Like you said, it felt like betrayal, but it wasn't betrayal. I understood that too. But I'm just happy that there were still some brothers on the other side. I ain't gonna say the other side that was still down move from the you that knew a motherfucking heart. So they never transgressed. Know what I mean, it was really no real wars going on with the hats of the you. Probably had like two, three incidents. Yeah, in certain uh, spots. Yeah, it was it was really nothing that really was going on. Know what I mean, and, and I guess that's from those that was other the other people that was in power that seen it like uh Sha Sha Nitty. Yeah. I mean yeah. Nitty was one of them that like listen, you the bro, I've been in the field with you. Yeah. I'm yeah. not with you, this know what I mean. So so I was just grateful for that. But at the end of the day, it's like yo, damn, like we all the same. Know what I mean? Yeah. Like so you no, know, it was hard, but it was what it was. It made me who I was. So nah, Yo, and let, I, me and you, let me ask you this, Pete. Yeah, pause um, it, be, um, coming into leadership, because a lot of us came into leadership young. Um, I got my first leadership um in GKB. Um when you got major leadership, right? On the brim of the of the brims, right? Did you did you take any steps? To educate yourself more, did you do more? Did you say, "All right, I'm gonna lead the people like this"? What was your thoughts on that? Coming into that power, coming to that whole thing, you public enemy number one. How how was your um, what was your goal as far as leadership and leading the people? So yeah, I, I, I took steps to educate myself. My thing was, I want to start businesses. Know what I mean, I wanted to open an account out on the street, but even with that, was the trust of who could trust. This money, know what I mean? Who can we trust to build these businesses if we're not there? So I already had a vision because I already knew from everybody that was picked who was going home soon. I knew Cash was going home soon. I knew Dynamo was going home soon. So I already knew certain people that was going to be out there that would be trusted. Know what I mean, I knew Live was going home soon. It's just that before it was able to happen, everything else happened. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that, and that's 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 key, and you know when you're in the leadership position, if people don't realize this, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yes, you have a lot of lives at at stake. You know that that you're responsible of. So any decision you make or you don't make, even a decision that you don't make, could potentially cause harm to others and stuff like that. So you gotta really right. be mindful of that influence that you have because you know. Um, it's a lot going on. Um, and I and I I took the same approach and I learned that from y'all though. So it wasn't like I didn't have my own vision and my own goal of what I wanted to do to kind of help the homies out. I knew I wanted to do it the right way, right? right. I wanted, to, I wanted like to you, said, you gotta make conscious decisions because yes, yes, you might have this person tell you something, and it's like, nah, I I gotta make sure this is this is right and exact before I even act on this. You know what I mean. Yeah, and, 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 and Willie Mingo talking about yeah, he he though he was definitely on straight BD the L time. Yeah, that he was another universal soldier that no matter where he went, he had love from everybody. Yeah, he's yes, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, but um, uh, so, yeah, now nah, he's in the chat. I, I see him in the chat. You know, what's, what's the name of the chat? Where he at? Oh lord, low key trying to always ducking in <laughs> right here in the cut. <laughs> Smarty. <laughs> It's my guy right there. My guy is always in the cut, but I, I love him because you know he was he was another one, man. That's honestly that's my 
another one of my big bros, right? All, all the, I'm really like the young. A lot of people don't realize. People think I'm the, I'm older than you guys. I'm always the one with the biggest mouth, but I'm actually <laughs> younger than all of y'all. That's 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 crazy. People think that I'm older than y'all, but um, that, that's it because that's the militant side of you. That's why. Yeah, and that was the militant side, but you know, and I remember when you got with me, man. You was like, "Yo, man, yo, Mo, I'm telling you, yo, I was so happy when you basically put the hat on. I was like, yo, bro, come on.' Remember, man. I tried to get you forever. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Yo, when when Shaq used to hit me up, he was like, "Yo, bro, I'm telling you." I was like, "Yeah, but 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 HR, he like, man, whatever, man, with that, man. We we from around the same way. I'm here with I'm here with we right now. This is what it's gonna be. I'm like, yo, y'all gonna bully me into this, <laughs> but I understood the love because." You know, we 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 really had serious love. I think it was like excessive and even extreme. Shaq said his phone died. He's coming back, so he apologized, but he just sent me a message. Um, all right, so let's move forward and all that like that. So you're going through your bumps and your bruises, man. You know, it's a lot going on. Dudes is picking sides, big homies on this side, big homies on that side. You got a little incidents taking place in the house or whatever the case may be like that. But all this is shaping and molding your way of thinking, and it's kind of helping you make your, your your plan when you make your successful transition. Now, you know, speak to that because we've been having a couple conversation about transition over the last couple of days. So I want you to speak briefly about your own personal transformation and then and then your preparation for making the transition back out to society. Because at some point you knew that they was going to have to let you go eventually, right? right. Like, so how, how do you how do you prepare yourself? Oh, to no, get I'm going to be honest. I didn't know I was coming home. Well, you had the L, right? Yes. So I didn't know I was coming home. What happened to work for me, it was raise the age. So mm. when they did the raise the age thing, that affected everybody that from my era. So explain what raise the age is. So what raise the age is, they couldn't charge you no more like what's going on now, 16, 17, 18 as adults. So now all them, all of them is in juvenile. Like right now, I work in a juvenile detention center. So all of them is housed in juvenile detention centers from 16 to 18. Yes. Some of them 20 in there. But so what they did with raise the age for, for us that was already incarcerated, they told the parole board that you can't review, you can't view this person as he is right now. You gotta think of him as he would have been if he was 16 or 17 years when he committed this crime. I mean, so that's what really helped a lot of us, like me, trying to rest in peace. Um, uptown, a couple of us that was back from that era. Now I mean, come home on that. On that. So that that that's that's because technically, I ain't think I was never coming home. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. So all right, so you got that in your mindset, but at some point, you're still there's still a your your transfer. You, you, there's the transformation piece where you're evolving overall. So explain that transformation process, like. Like, what do you? I know you, you're at the point because I remember you went from like Wendy and then you went down to Haven. So, so, like, what, what's going on in, internally? Like, what, what's, what's happening with you in that regard? Yeah, yeah, Ben, hold on. Let me let's let's let me um make it a little bit more concise that question. Thank you, bro. Because me coming home, you know, I was in the same Mikey from 1996 and coming yeah. up on my way home. So, what did you change up to get out? What are the things that you do as a person that was? Formerly in a gang or still in a gang, you know, whatever you, whatever you know, whatever your story is on that. But what? Well, how did you, um, how did you get out? I mean, like, <laughs> this is a great question. Like, <laughs> I changed people. You know what I mean, so I started, I started circling around, putting myself with different people. So when I got to Green Haven, we had the Exodus program down there. So. We had a brother named Tyson. Tyson's home right now. We met up with Tyson. Shout out to Tyson. That's my bro. That's our bro right there. Good dude. Shout out to Tyson. So I got up with Tyson, a brother named Panama, and some other brothers that was running the program. We was at Exodus too. Huh? We was at Exodus in Shawanga. Right. So I started doing different programs and just being affiliated with them. Know what I mean? So they helped me just change everything I was doing. Know what I mean? So now I know even though I don't think I'm going home, I still got a possibility of going home. So now I got to build a different type of portfolio for when you go in front of these people. You know what I mean, I can't go in front of these people. Yes, yeah, free Uncle Jeff. That's a fact. All these gang tickets and all, all these assaults, all these different things. Now I got to come with programs. Now that's a fact. You know what I mean, so what? What, what was about much. you? It was just changing people. What about you, Shaq? I mean, I mean, you knew you was trying to get your butt out of prison. Like, what, what, what were some of the things you had to do to make that successful transition? Shut the mail room down. 
<laughs> mail room is shut down. No more mail, right? No more. I ain't want no mail. No mail going anywhere. That is that a fact. Shit. Yes. And uh, just, 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 I just sat on my ass, son. See, so, so, what, what, what? All you guys for? Oh, I know all you guys were fortunate. Where I, so, so in my case, you know, all you guys know this already. I, I ended up losing my mo my mother and my sister. You know, a shack. You know this already. My my brother got killed in it. So I went through a different. So my yeah, my lost my mother too. While I was in yeah, I lost, and I remember I lost, that. And, I lost grandma. I lost because I lost mad. Yo, me too. You, me too. took mad losses doing 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 that business. Yeah, huh? and that that kind of that kind of was like the, the 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 straw that broke the camel's back for me. It was just like okay. I'm always in the box. It's like I'm spending time, box after box, time, box, box. And I'm like, yo, like, and I kind of felt like I was losing out on being somebody of worth. Like, I, I just felt like I was doing more of nothing than anything. And I didn't want to die like that. So that's why, thankfully for me, I ended up, you know, I said, I'm I'm, I'm done. All of you guys, and I think Mikey, to Mikey's credit, he he also kind of, you know, pulled back as, as, as well. But you guys, like, stood firm all the way. I was just like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I can't do this no more. I need to focus on me. I need to Everything focus on me. Done like keep going through the same fucking shit. Over yeah, and yeah. Over and over again, so I'm like, yo, fucking 2000 or something. Like that's it was some shit from '95, '96, nigga. Yeah, nah, I agree. I agree. How was it? How was it when y'all made that? When y'all made that transition? Like, I mean, so you now now y'all. Y'all finally going through all the crazy stuff, and 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 y'all 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 you know we all we grown men now. We forty something years old. We forty years old, whatever. So y'all finally make it back out here. Like, what what was some of the things y'all had to do to prepare to get out here though? Now, I came home in 08, right? And I just basically did the same shit I did when I first hit the yard. <laughs> I sat down on the bench, and I and I just watched watched the world, son. You heard? I said, no, you just can't. You can't get all that time back. So, like any anything, you got to you got to adjust. You got to just. I mean, I mean, when you wrote me, you sent me a picture in the projects with with you, you, you and Khalid and all y'all in, in the hood. I remember that. So I was like, oh, I, Nigga, I didn't even go to the projects. So how the hell did you you send me the photos in the projects? I didn't even go to the projects. Nigga, I, I went out of the project. I came home and went out of the projects. <laughs> oh, you didn't live in the projects, you mean? No. Oh, okay, but no, all right. But the photos I got was you, Pookie, Victor. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm okay. oh, right. you know, back. All right. What you was going to so, say, we? For me, it was still that family structure, having that family support coming home. Mm. Right before I came home, I got married. Yeah. Uh, so having my wife in my corner, that stability right there, and her basically showing me everything. I mean, to this day, I still need her help. Shit, know what I mean, <laughs> but it was it was more that family support that know what I mean caused my transition back out here to be successful and easy. Mm. Yeah, we we, we, we were talking and not get caught up with the traps. We were just talking about that. Yeah, um, in regards to what we were talking about, you know, um, Blue Boy and everything he's going through. Um, yeah, but yeah. having that support on reentry, having that family, having that support is everything, bro. Yeah. That's yeah, we mentioned the three things that you must have on your way out. And the first one was, you know, you got to have like the the family, you know, the, the 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 job. Obviously, you need a place to stay. So that 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 those three things you got those covered when you get out kind of makes it more easier for you to do. Because you spent 26 years in prison, Shaq 15. That's a lot of time to be coming back out. Nothing is the same. No, this is different. Everything is different. Man. Yo, it's so crazy. I'm on I'm on 42nd Street. I had to ask the I went to the police officer and say, yo, which way is 8th Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and I'm from I'm from Manhattan. <laughs> it was like a, a tourist out there, like, yo, excuse me, which way is 8th Avenue? Nah, I don't feel like that. Shout it out to the guys. I see you, Nate Boy in the building, man. Shout it out, Nate Boy. What's the deal? Yo, man, y'all tune in the We Locked In, man. I'm your host, Moshe Kansi. I'm here with Mikey B, my brother, co-host. I'm here with our special guest, man. We got Shaq Grimm on the set. We got Pee Wee, man. We we up in the building with some some heavy hitters, some legends. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Put your comments in the chat. Share it with a loved one, somebody that could benefit from this. We talking to the to these to these brothers, man, who put so much of their lives, their blood, their sweat, their tears on the line. Boy Ace, y'all tune into Ice TV too, man. 
<laughs> oh, that's Carmel right, right there. The ace right of there. Of course, that's Ja Ace. You, you, you better you better subscribe to the Ja Ace. That's that's family right there. That's, that's so, my point, that was my point guard for a couple of years. Oh, that's your point guard right there. <laughs> so um, so what's going on now though? Like, I mean, you know, we, we know we could talk about the past and you know, we could go all into a bunch of stuff, but you know, that stuff has made us the great people that we are today. And um, so just for a little story, so um, I get me, me and we, we finally connect with each other out here and he reaches, you know, um, he, I think I, did I reach out to you or you reached out to me? You reached out to me when you first came home through, uh, Mel Cross. Through Mel Cro and Mel's supposed to, Mel's supposed to pull up too, right? So I'm, I'm waiting for him. You was having a barbecue. I was at work that I couldn't make oh, it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I have my, 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 my come on. So B actually was the one that came through. I was reaching out to everybody, letting them know to come through and stuff like that. And you was like, you was working. And then we ended up connecting later on through through Tyson in this case, and um for for an endeavor where we actually spoke to um some young homies out there in, in Sheepshead Bay and stuff like that. And yeah. me, you, and shout out to Sis Meth, man. You know, mad love the meth. And I remember feeling like, yo, man, this is a great opportunity for us to build. So speak to you know you being home for the last. First of all, how long you been home, we? And and, and what, what 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 are you doing right now, man? My kid, and how it looked, and how it looked to you when you came home. How did you feel after coming home all of years? Yeah, 26 I, years is a whole different look. So how I did came you, like, what is I this? Came 2017. Um, like you said, she was different out here. She was like, everything is new, everything moving faster than what it was back it was then. Spooky. So, yeah, it's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm seeing people Everybody talking looking. to the when I came out, everybody looked sick to me for some reason. I'm like, yo, damn. <laughs> Things look mad unhealthy and mad gray and shit. Like, the fuck? Yeah. Get ourselves out here. So, like I said, you know, so right now, like when I first came home, I was doing community work. Like, reached out. Like, I did some work at Exodus, talking to the youth over there. That's what I do, like, from, on my spare time. If I got time, I go out and talk to the kids. Me and you got to go back out to Sheep Shed Bay, uh, too, um, Moshe. And Mike, hey, man, when, whenever you ready, whenever you ready, whenever you ready, man, you know, I, I never got a problem doing that, man. I, I felt great doing that, man, and I drove home that night. That was, like, one of my best nights, man, because I felt like, you know, I had an opportunity to do something productive with you um, and, and, and with Sis, and that, that, to me, man, was special. So, yeah, anytime, just... You already know, man. I, I don't know. I don't care where where, where we got to go, what time it got to be. I, I'm 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 all in. You know, I'm I don't care where we got to do it, how we got to do it. You already know. Yeah. I know. So, Yo, so so so. I work, I work in the detention center. I'm working on Horizon Juvenile Detention Center. And, and what in what capacity? So we call um youth development specialists. So you know, we did like to mentor them, but these is not even kids no more. Like I said, being that they did raise the age, these is young. Like men, young, girls, you know what I mean. So sometimes it's hard because you know they, at that age we thought we knew everything. You know I mean? so they, they feel they know everything. They feel what you tell them. Listen, even if you tell them, listen, what you doing, I done did. What you trying to do, I done did. Listen, it. You know what I mean, but they, they so. I'm not gonna say far gone, but they so caught up in this. They us, like, we like dead man shit that is like. They don't want to hear nothing else. They just want to us, drill. They us when we was younger. No, but with us when we was younger, the, the older the older prisoners or the older ones that was locked up, we listened to. We didn't listen to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about before we, before you get to jail. They ain't, yeah. be, be, before before you get them cussing on you, we we had them out there telling us, "Yo, what the fuck you doing?" Ah, all that shit. And I, 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 ain't nothing new under the sun and all that. But what we did. Yeah, but they they different. You right? Think, they different. <laughs> do y'all think? Do y'all feel? Because I know we speaking to the youth a lot, and, I, and the reason why I do it is because I know we're morally obligated to do it. But do you think that our contributions to the gang subculture contributed to the youth and what they're going through right now? Because right now we see drill music. Right now we see violence in the communities that we come from, and a, and a lot of it has to do with a lot of the gang, gang subculture and stuff like that. Do you think that we're responsible in a way intentionally or unintentionally for what we see in our communities right now nah i blame mel cross is trying to get in i blame the internet yeah I, I, yeah i'm gonna say nah too because they, <laughs> they different man they 
Serious. Yo, I got to believe that. Yo, 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 bro, I'm talking, about about I'm talking to one of the young bros, right? And I'm explaining to him, like, yo, listen, how you beefing with somebody that's from Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah, you want to talk to them to the man, How you beefing with somebody from Brooklyn? You from Manhattan. Y'all don't even know each other. But, yo, he's smoking on my dead man. He don't even know your dead man. You don't even know the dead person you talking about. So he like yo they yo they different bro it's hard they different. Mel salute. Nick, Nay boy, Nay boy, the, the 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 link is in the chat. I'm putting it in the chat right now, Nay boy. I just right it, Mo. What's in there, Mo? Nay, Nay boy coming up. Yeah, Nay boy is right there. Nay boy, I just dropped it. Yo, Melly, is that Melly Cross? Mel Cross, Mel Cross. What's up, man? No, man, what's good, man? How everybody doing, man? Yo, what's Hi, up, bro, brother? You know that. Uh -huh. Good vibes. You know what we do. Good vibes, you heard? Always in forever, hey, man. Hey, yo, Mel Crow, somebody in the chat said, yeah, Mikey B, you should have put your hat on back in the days, you heard? <laughs> I've been that. What you talking about? <laughs> Ask Mel Crow. That's my, that's my twin. The brother uh, love you know, the you know, top you know, to the you know, yo, you know what's crazy, too? Because a lot of people don't know, man. You know, um, when I started my hood and everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, you was one of the people that I was trying to throw up on the lineup and all. I just couldn't Ooh, get it. Everybody, you know that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 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 Mikey always do this when somebody come in. So Mel, you, you hold on. You wanted to get Mikey. You ain't, you you ain't want me on. A lot of, I did a lot of. Things. I wanted to. I wanted to. Mikey, I wanted to with Mikey. No, Pee Wee, Pee Wee's like, nah, nah, nah. Don't take lie. Don't take lie. No, <laughs> I mean, I can't let you take lie. <laughs> no, I'm saying. And he was like, nah, don't take P. Brim. Don't take P. Brim. No, I'm saying. <laughs> So you know, <laughs> hey, you know it's like that was going on, you all Yo, yo, see, Pee Wee, Pee Wee, smart. Pee Wee knew. He said, "Hold on, Mel gonna try to take every freaking body." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, he gonna try. Come on, man. How we gonna forget about <laughs> Lo, man? Come about on, Lo. Can't forget about yeah, Lo. That's 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 that's, that's our brother, man. That's our that's our brother, man. That's, yeah, that's the bro. That's on, right. Free, free, we don't want Lario sitting in no freaking cage. Come on, man. That's right. Crazy. We we all know Lario since we was kids, man. Yeah. That's Come right. On, man. Crazy, man, because we all have a deep, you know what I'm saying, relationship amongst ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We basically all was raised together in prison. We helped raise each other. We kept each other strong. You know what I'm saying? Right. You wow. know, wow, man. Me and Mikey, you know, I remember on the island, we, you know what I'm saying, police, you know what I'm saying, we get our ass bust together sometime. You know what I mean? Legendary. Oh, man, you know that shit, no, big. Legendary. Oh, I ain't even trying to oh, go but, brag. Oh, but, Oh, but Moshe wasn't bringing you food when you was in the bing. That's what you're trying to sell me? That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> so you know what's crazy? Let me tell you what's crazy. Because I was mad that I had just missed you when I had Kane to Auburn. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, Moshe was all up in the bubble and all that. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. So, up Yo, in the bubble and everything. Shout out to Cam Frost. Shout out to her. Oh, that, that was crazy. I was about to say shout out to Cam Frost. Yo, shout out to... I, listen, I, I will... Let me tell y'all something. Real quick story, Mel. My, my life... Me, me, me and Shaq Brim know each other since we was five, six years old. Like, for real, right? But I had no life before Auburn. You guys realize that, right? My life began <laughs> June 14, 03. Yo, I used to... Let me tell you something. My whole life changed after Auburn, y'all. I ain't do no movies. I ain't put no work in. It started in Auburn, man. Is this yeah, Nayboy that, that pulled that, up? Hold that, on, Let the critics tell it. Yep. Yo, let the critics tell it, right? Yeah. Yo, Nay. That's that's you hear me? Y'all hear me? Yeah, we yeah. hear you, man. What's up, man? man? First and foremost, it's a pleasure being on the platform with Mount Rushmore, you are. What's up, bro? All the guys, you are. You hear me? Yes, we hear you, bro. Yeah, I'm Salute, driving. Bro. Salute, bro. Peace, peace. Yo, Mikey, what's up, no. man? Hell, Pee Wee, what's up, we? No, man. Man. I just want to shout out all the big bros, man, because I came up under y'all. I want to really, really respect y'all, and I want to respect everything that y'all doing, you know, just to shout y'all out. And, and before I interject too much, I just wanted to touch a little bit on Blue. I don't want to stop y'all flow, but he sent his love. I spoke to him through his wife the other day. You are? Yes, sir. Yes, and I sir. Told him that. And, and he sent his love. And, and I was just about to type something when we said he came home to the support. And a lot of brothers is throwing hate towards Blue in a sense. But he didn't even know he was coming home, man. 
right. he just popped out and he came home so unprepared. It's like he just got pushed back into a, a world he didn't know. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. He had no like female support, which was important. He had the bros, but ain't nothing like a good, solid woman, you know? Word. Right. He just got that recently within the last, he only been home a year. So I want to say the last four months of his, of his, you know what I mean, life in the street, he got a woman that was transitioning him and taking him out of that, you know, institutionalized gang style mentality and boom, this situation happened. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I think if he'd have had her longer, we'd have had a different result with the brother, you know? Yeah, right. Absolutely, so, man. So, so, so that's the thing with him, but he, he in good spirits. He sent his love. I told him about what's going on, you know? Yeah, said, well, let him, let him know, man, course. that Mikey B, Pee Wee, Shaq, Mel Cross, Moshe, man, those those that 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 know him, man, we, we send our regards to him, man, and, and tell him to stay strong. Um, in any way we can support him, man, under his current conditions, we will do so. Um, it's somebody we know very well. We 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 value him. We know him. We don't want to be sitting in nobody's cell rotting away for the rest of his years on this earth, nah, man. Nah. It's not not him, bro. That 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 that. And that's, his hand on him, man. And that's a fact. And the last. Honestly, man, I just want to respect everybody that's doing the social service thing. I myself, like I told a few of y'all, work on the island as a social worker because, yes, you know, you they, they're allowing brothers with felonies to, like, to get. You're going in out, bro. Yeah, you went in out, Nay. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now, bro. Damn, I think we lost Nate for a minute, y'all. Yeah, he, he basically was saying that they're allowing brothers like us that have felonies and everything to come back in and do work. But we also know that from Exodus and from also when GMAC and them was coming through. So, you know, we, yeah, so, you know, so we. Oh, nah, you wowing. They just wowed out right now. Don't uh -huh. even. It don't put lines right in the building. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wild. Yo. Oh, they wild. Yo. Yeah, yo, yo, we, yo, nah, I see y'all kicking nah, it. I nah. said, nah, I gotta get in oh, on this, nah. man. This is, yeah, this man. is historic right here, man. Oh my god, <laughs> yo, oh, up, yo, man. yo, wise, I'm gonna pass out, bro. Yo, it all, good, bro. Yo, man. Hey, yo, yo, we, man, it's great to see you home, bro, man. For yeah. real, man. I didn't even know. Dead serious, I didn't even know. That's crazy, I didn't even. I didn't even know Moshe was home until he hit me up last year. <laughs> yeah, we, we all got to get together in the flesh. Absolutely. That's a yeah, fact. Man. That's a fact. Yo, Shaq, man. Salute, brother, man. Cross. Yo, Mikey Yo, B, up, man. man. Salute, man. Why, salute. What's up, bro? Willie, Willie, Willie. What's up, man? Hey, bro. It's hey, good yo. to see you. Go ahead, man. Hey, yo, I wanted yo, to ask y'all a question, right? Because... Before the brother got cut off, um, before he got um cut off, he got disconnected, whatever. He was talking about he appreciate the work that we're doing, right? I want to bring it back there, the focus back there for a minute because of what we represent, especially with the brim thing. You know what I'm saying? And how I will bop and everything like that, and you know, in a, in a damn mood thing as a whole. And then we look at what's going on out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Me being an outreach worker. You know what I'm saying? We being we he being that everybody where they at. It's like I be telling people when I be doing shooting responses, when, when the life is took and all that, and I be telling people, like, I always call out the so-called shot callers in the neighborhood, the so-called OGs, the ones that's sitting back that could stop this from happening, but they're allowing it to happen. But me feeling personally connected to a lot of these things because a lot of these issues that these kids out here fighting for is shit that was going on amongst us behind the wall. True. Sure. You know what I'm saying that's why when a lot of time when um when I had made that video about you know what I'm saying I wasn't I didn't shout nobody out for the for the beat and all that because it's like we kind of like celebrating death you know what I'm saying so it's like us that's out here doing what we doing man you know we basically sticking to the script because we know we the vanguard we wasn't perfect we wasn't perfect we was kids with a big responsibility we never knew that it was gonna spill off on the streets the way it did you know what i'm saying and along with our contributions you know what i'm saying rap and everything played the big part we already know with with with, with, with pete case you know what i'm saying lord to and them success with with the deja vu and everything exposing that you know what i'm saying dipset going going bananas 
know what I'm saying? Even motherfucking DMX and talking about dogs and motherfucking <laughs> um, Jay-Z talking about all oh, my dog that's locked in the thing with the, the bricks, new which money ain't a thing. You talking about you know, us, man? right? True. Yeah, so so you know, we never knew that it was gonna get this big, but you know, but certain time when certain shootings and everything be going on, man. I just be feeling personally connected sometimes because it's like, damn man, a lot of them don't even know how this started or why, you know what I'm saying, or whatever have you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your views on that? Yeah, and that's a great question. I I'll I'll I'll, I'll go around and bring it back to me. Um, Pee Wee, Shaq, what y'all think about that? Then, you know, Wise Red and then me and Mikey. Yeah, I'm going to let you hit that. Yeah, because you want to watch the game. I see you peeking over at the TV, man. You... Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute. Say, what's that last part that you said, Cross? Huh? Say that last part you said. That was basically asking how, um, how everybody oh. felt about that, okay. you know, because a lot of the things that's going on, I'm going to tell you about some of the wars that's going on, right? We already know, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Helm, Mac, you know what I'm saying, Mac or Mac, the YGs, and then, you know, because there's a lot of other, uh, 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 I want to say, like, fraction, the Woo, the Woo, the Fraction, so, fraction of, yeah, all that, because like, a lot of other games came as, uh, I want to say, um, lack of a better term, I don't know, um, I don't want to, like, <laughs> A sub, like, a sub, a, yeah, sub parts. Like, remember how the YG cut the thing with the yeah. YG, you know, the, the double banger. Like, and then for us to be out here now and to physically see what's going on, it's one thing when we hearing what was going on and we was, you know, what I'm saying, resolving, you know, what I'm saying, and, and moving and, and, and doing how we're doing, but to now be out here and seeing it, and then for them to be getting shot, them to be going in prison, us. You know, um, um, helping them all. You know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 mentoring them. You know, um, giving them wraparound services, going to these neighborhoods. You know, what I'm saying, doing table events, doing picnics, doing book bag gives away and everything. You know, what I'm saying, as a means to give back and uh, um, connect with the youth. Like, how do you, how do you feel about it? You know what I'm saying, for because uh, uh, we on both sides of the fence now, on both sides of the fence, because a lot of people. When they was out here, they wasn't still living with the damn old thing. It really is a lot of ones that know better came out here and just fell in line with this right here when we know what this thing is really about. So, you know, for us to be doing what we're doing, it's like it's putting us on the other side of the fence also, you know what I mean? A lot of people was coming home misleading these young brothers too, man. They 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 misled, right? But for, for me, from my understanding with them, like I told what I was saying earlier, they different. They they more of their neighborhood than they is a part of our, our, our culture. See, we not to cut you off. Let me say something. They choose between Don Moon, their neighborhood. They choose their they neighborhood. See, we a lot of these a lot of these gangs now. They they like they like hybrid gangs because they right. they they it's Crips and Bloods in the same gang. Know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. So right. that's like a whole nother level of something right there. Like, yeah, I agree. I agree. That that's I I do, and that's a great question, Mel. Right, but I do think that. It's very complicated where we we had one objective. We knew this is what the objective was. This is what the ideology was. This is what the philosophy was. And we went with that. Right. To, to Wise Red point, it, it's, it's, it got all type of different branch offs, the branch offs with branch offs. And they aligning themselves with warring factions. Like you got woo with, 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 with you got, you got blood with crip. You got blood crip with folk. Like they going, then you got YG like, and then you got. Wow. Right, so it, it took on a whole different level now. Right. Like you said, they 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 more of a uh -huh. Chicago type thing with all this mindset. Uh Sutton World and I'm repping this. They, right. they different, bro. Like you have a hound from Gun Hill Road that's down with some Crips and some Max from Gun Hill Road, whatever else over there, beefing with some hounds. And some Crips and some Max that's from over this side of town. It's crazy, and they bro. Like, literally, like, they literally killing each other over music. Yeah, basically. Or saying you over smoking music. Them, or you smoking like dead man. You know, you know, you know the paradox. You know the um the paradox about, uh, about that because we know hip hop started. You know, everybody settled their conflict with their skill on the mic, right? Tupac 
even told his outlaws that when I, you know what I'm saying, when, when I die and everything, you know what I'm saying, I want to be cremated, you know what I'm saying, smoke me, you know what I'm saying, I'll be with y'all forever, and turn me and all that. Now, anybody yeah. who say they smoking, no matter how they old they is or how big they is, they getting killed, they getting ran down on, they getting hurt on, you know what I'm saying, and so forth and so on. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. Real crazy, baby. Who, who just pulled up? Huh? Oh, they go Big Quell. Quell just I pulled up. Quell up. Oh, my <laughs> God. I just want to shout y'all uh, out, man. I'm on the move right now. It's time to go now. I'm going. Stop the show, big bro. Yo, yo enjoy I yourself. See, I can't see the faces too small. I see Mikey B. I see Moshe. I see Shaq, big face. Uh, <laughs> where Pee Wee at? Yo, see me? up in the... He up in the corner. He up in the corner. Okay, right I said it. Right, the hat on, hat on. Okay, who else there? Wise. Wise Red. Oh, Wise Red. Wise was good. I didn't see Wise Red since the Southport in the 90s. God peace, damn. My brother, peace. <laughs> peace, peace, bro. You don't see me, man? Huh? You don't see me? Who? Who I'm talking to? Mel Cross, man. Oh, I didn't even see you. Stop, Something bro. blocking you in red. Huh? Something red blocking you. Something oh. blocking you. It's fine, man. Hey, no, I can never let him know that. Hello, you already know, man. Yo, well, shout you know me, I'm out man. I got a brand new heart. I'm outside now all the time. Facts. <laughs> yeah, man, blessings Facts. on that, brother. Well, Quell well pulled Facts. up on me like about two weeks ago. Quell pulled up on me and shit. Wow. Yo, listen, I, we, me, me and Abdul Khabir, we were at we were at the um Islamic Foundation doing a, a fundraiser. Quell pulled up on us in the rain. Like, what's up? What's Ooh. good? We're going to yeah. raise some funds. Yeah, I got to pull up because I'll be in Texas soon. I ain't going to see me that much no more. Yeah, I, I, I was telling him earlier that I owe my growth to you and, and so being y'all when we don't let that cook. Right, right. You already know. Yo, que question, Quell. Before you break out, man, I know you I know you out and about in the town, man. You know, you you are our elder, man. Or uh, everybody in the chat, man. Um, do you do you feel responsible in any way for the youth that we see today? This is the question that's being asked for the youth that you see today. How they running them up in the communities that we're from? Do you in any way feel responsible for that, whether directly or indirectly? I, indirectly, I I don't feel responsible on a personal level, but as a unit, as a team, I feel like like a lot of us are responsible for that. We ain't, we ain't keep our foot on their necks good enough, man. And a lot of us start straying away and going independent and separating from each other. Like a lot of that played a part in it. All the structure and everything just disappeared after that. The whole thing. Yeah, and that's coming from that's coming when, from when, big when, when it was one hood, was one hood, one nation, and the structure was there. We had people off the gate afternoon reading reading history books, educating themselves to three o'clock before they get back on the gate and that's talking shit. Fact. We had, <laughs> we had to do a lot of things, but after everything went haywire, man, you know, it's just that it's every man for himself. And a lot of these people is coming in coming in the hoods for like wrong intentions, and they they, they doing they breeding a lot of violence. A lot of hate, and these kids be following behind their leaders that's provoking that. And now these kids out here on some separation shit all around the board, just based off of old wars and old beefs. That's so yeah. And a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes that was in position, instead of handling the things themselves, when they see somebody, you know, they sent a lot of dudes to do stuff instead of seeing, and then when they see dudes, they even do nothing at all. Yeah, no, nah, right. nah. that's a fact. That's a fact. Horrible, bro. So a lot of a lot of <laughs> the team of dudes they came up on then how they moved. Let me tell you something, bro. We all know sets that was like this set was all on color gang time. This set right. right here was revolutionaries. This set right here either it's got the bag, selling the bag, or they're using the bag. <laughs> 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 So, yo, you know what? Lying or not? Now nah, you you're not lying. Now nah, you're telling the truth. Not lying. Now nah, you're not lying. A lot of this is from is from the leaders in the gangs and the and the but, but, pressure but, they no, put out no, in no, the community. You no, know, no. The, the problem state. is the, one of the problems is power in the wrong hand is the destruction of the old adage. And not only that, man, one one single placement of the wrong person to speak cause the world a, a lifetime of problems. Mm. And you got people, mm. you got people that's getting, getting positions. That never had a position in their life. Some of us grew up through the four buildings, running houses in the streets, have a team of young boys under us. We control, so we know how to control ourselves. Later on in line, we come blood and we go to hood. But them dudes that always wanted to be somebody, always had issues when they was younger, 
always bully when they was younger. These are the wrong people to have positions, bro. Right. That's a good point. And, and, and I just I wanted to say this too, man. You know, and and, and I, I want because I'm the youngest one here. I took everything from each and everybody on this this platform. I know everybody on this platform. You're the youngest one in I'm the youngest one. I we, I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm 45, we. No, I'm the youngest. What about? Man, get out of here, man. Listen, I took every I took something from each and every one of y'all. Whether it was Mikey B, whether it was we, whether it was Cross. Yo, when we was on the island back in days, Quell, yo, Mel Cross is like Huey P. Newton, man. Yo, this oh, guy, man. yo, 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 yo I, I remember getting yo, 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 that was yo, my yo, yo he listen. And Cross is everywhere together. Yo, when Cross oh. used to write me, yo, when Cross used to write me on the island, I used to be like, yo, I, I needed a dictionary to read. I was like, yo, this dude is writing like, like he's Stokely Carmichael. I said, yo, I need a dictionary. Oh, man. Yo, he taught me the, the importance of reading that, a dictionary when you read it, man. That came from the structure back then, man. We, we oh. had to read books like that. Facts. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I got we educated. Talk, I got three educated. Hours, three three hours a day, B. Right. Three hours a day, B. Yeah. I was on it. I was on it. I knew the Constitution word for word, the prayer, what I write. That's about what I beg with pride, what I die for me. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell this girl I'm downstairs. She got me out for 10 minutes in the middle of Brownsville. What the fuck she at? <laughs> oh, you in my hood. You good for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good in Brownsville. I, I, it's the Bronx. I'm scared of, I'm scared of the Bronx. I'm terrified. 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 I'm the movement that 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 we once well I once was a part of Don Mu can it can it come back to where it once was in that all in together now type vibe? That's his question. Um hey Quell, answer that. I don't I mean I, don't I mean it's, 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 it's a it's a it's a possibility. I ain't gonna say strong possibility because this new generation that took over the mind of its own, man. It's like even when I was working for GMAC. You know, you think we're dealing with high-risk shoot? We was only dealing with the at-risk. We was, we, was, we was cutting corners, man. Like, them kids was not no shooters. These kids probably thought they was about that life and they lived that life, but they wasn't. It's hard to get the real active ones in there. These guys in a league of their own, bro, they way worse than the crack era. These kids is crazy, bro. Yeah. Yes. They, well, they well, bloodthirsty. Well, they thirsty for that. I don't well, think well, anything well, to do with us or anything to do with anything to do with us or none of that. Just that, that, that's just... This their generation right here, man. But now you know what? I think I think that it always been like that. It's just that we just we are able to I think we just be able to see it more because of social media. Cause I we all yeah. old enough. We all old enough. Think about it uh, um in the good times one one episode when they had the gang members up there, right? And one of them was a real little kid. Remember? Right. And then right. What that little kid wanted. That little kid wanted his medals, remember? <laughs> right. So remember at the end of the episode, they came at the door, knocked on the door, they like What's up? What's going on? He's like, yo, son, son got his medals. So they was like, where you at? They was like, he's dead. Because his medals, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you got to get shot or shoot somebody. You got to be able to go to prison, whatever, to give your gangsterism integrity in their eyes on the street. Because I remember growing up, you know, when you coming home, people looked at you different when you survived the island. You came home, you did this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that was glorified. You know what I'm saying? Because look at us. We are glorified for the wrong reason. We, you know what I'm saying? Because even though we right. started for what we started on with and everything, and how the thing it is now, nobody uh, look at us like, yo, damn, these dudes, this, that's the other. Because all the negative outshadowed all the stuff that we did or why we even picked up our flag to begin with. Because for us, we caused more problems to ourselves because we was all good on our own. Right. But we took a stand for the people, you know what I'm saying, as a whole. What you say, your wise? You was gonna say something. What, 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 what about what about your opinion, wise? Um, 
I was going to say that if it was to ever come back, it wouldn't be in the same essence because you got to, now you got to go through a process where you got to re-educate people now. You got to go through a re-education process now. And a whole new way to move. It's like you said. Exactly. We, 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 we. Like, this fucking, that's a, the internet era. It's totally different. Come here, totally like I got some fucking germs. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all. Alright, peace, peace, bro. Peace, peace, bro. Thank you, man. Well, alright, catch y'all later, man. Stay up, stay dangerous, though. Regardless. Okay, bro. Um, I'm nothing but the truth put in the chat. He said, "People, peace, y'all." But let's miss let but let's mislead. I think he's saying, but not let's let's not mislead. Like how Bloods was no pressed in the 90s. I was in Brooklyn House in 96, 97, and Bloods flipped me just because I wanted my phone time. All right, let me respond to that. So this is the thing, right? And you're right. Um, <coughs> what were they supposed to be doing after you? Actually, no. So if you if you had to experience that, unfortunately, that was something that you had to endure. Um, I don't personally know nobody on this chat here. I know everybody on this chat. I mean, we have really deep, strong bonds. I never know any of these individuals to oppress anybody over no phones or just in general, right? Um, so I don't, I don't, in fact, I can honestly say that the people who are actually here would have done everything in their power to, to protect individuals so that they can get on the phone. Um, and I, I I know that for a fact, right? Um, so if that's something that you had to endure, it's unfortunate. But were there homies who took advantage of the time that they, you know, when they were in houses and stuff like that? And yeah, we we know people like that, but when they got yeah. around individuals who did not tolerate that because they knew the real the, the real way of what Damu represented, they would kind of slow that stuff down. Did that mean that they just dropped the phone? And no, it meant that listen, man, give the people some 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 phone time. Stop oppressing them. I know that's that was my impact, and I'm thankful that when I was a part of the movement, I was able to speak and be a voice for the people who couldn't speak for themselves. And that was something that people always appreciated. Like, damn. Moshe's gonna always stand up for the people who are the less fortunate. And I thought that that's what the Damu movement was about. So, right, and I, I really believe at its core, at its essence, um, it, that's what the beauty of it was about. Like I always used to tell people, name anybody in this world that can live without blood in their body, right? People would be like, you can't live without blood. And I just be like, Damu should be the general essence of the soul of the people. Like when you come around, you should empower people. People shouldn't feel like, damn, they go the homies and feel like they don't want to be around you. Nah, you should give life to them because remember, there was one time, remember, y'all all remember when you came around, people felt good to be around the homies. Y'all all remember this, man. Yeah. So, you know, then there was a time it was just like, all right, here they go again. Here they go. All right, yeah. Nah, because at the time when they felt good because they knew we was a brotherhood, they knew that, man, like, bro, it was literally nothing we wouldn't do for each other, man. Y'all yeah, won't break a cookie down. And all eight, even all eight homies to eat right here, son. Straight up. <laughs> Facts. If we got one bar of soap, every homie, gonna, we going to break it or we going to use how we do it. One shampoo, we going to split it. However Facts. we got to do it. We Facts. all going to live, man. Facts. Shout out, shout out to Pistol Pete, man. To, we had we had the mentality. Pistol. Pistol. My we brother, had, Pistol Pete, man. Uh, yo, we had the mentality, like... How you used to be back in the days at your grandma's crib with your cousins, everybody sleeping on the floor with each other, yeah, yeah everybody yeah. laying on each other. You just you just felt safe in that environment. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I'm I'm kind of glad. I'm honestly I'm kind of glad that, um, in spite of everything that kind of went crazy and went over here, it separated. I'm glad of the relationships that we were able to build, man. Because look. We could all pull up on each other and we don't feel threatened by each other. I don't have to, we don't have to look over each other's shoulders. We could hug each other genuinely. We could go out, have some food, go eat, go chill. And I'm kind of glad that we built those relationships, man, because those are like lifelong, lifetime bonds, man. We 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 were fortunate. Not everybody could come back out those prison cells and and, and meet up with individuals that they were behind the wall with. Some people they don't even want to be around. It was like, nah, I'm, yeah, but, I don't want to be around. Yeah, bro. but but who the fuck could read a 19-page kite from we and not? Love this nigga after that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie, dudes was putting some time into them letters though, right? What? <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, yo, I still remember my introductions, y'all. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nah, Yo. but for real though, man, it was just <coughs> the love we had, man, is just I don't know if that'll ever be there again, man. Yeah, I that's why I don't know to, to G5 Bree. I'm gonna answer your question for you. I really don't think that what we knew, I kind of feel bad that the young bros today don't even know what we experienced. Yo, we remember when we was on the one banner, what we would have done for each other, y'all? What we yeah. what we what we did for each other. So I don't I don't know, man. I, I'm I don't think it'll ever be like that. Unfortunately, um, were we misguided? Yeah, we were misguided, but we had good intentions. I, I believe, well, right? Um, I just don't think one that of the main reasons like the motherfucking powers that be they definitely won't even let that even attempt to take place. Heck no, <laughs> not of that magnitude. Never. That's that's why they had their hand in our situation too. They had our hand in our situation. Of course they did. Of course Co they did. Pro, man. Co Intel Pro. Of course they did. So I'm when I first got out. And I was making my little. I said, you know what? Let me see how this bus, how this bus situation goes. Take a bus, call stock or Clinton somewhere, and watch these pigs, yo. Like, hey, yo, fucking disrespectful. Hey, yo, you know which one of the most awkward things about me being there, who coming up, bro, is that we out here, we we was in there putting in this pain, right, for our people and everything, right. But our peoples that was PO, um, COs and everything took a personal hatred against us, remember? And it was like, for some of them and some groups and everything, it was just like, it was just on, it was on site with some of them, B. <laughs> Yo, G5 Bree said he was just born in the wrong generation. <laughs> 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 Yo, nah, I don't feel like that. Don't feel like that. A lot of us, Bay bro, and, and I didn't mean to cut you off, um, um Mel, pardon me. Um, a lot of us are, we, we are descendants, direct descendants of the black power in the civil rights era. Right. So although although our parents may not, our parents and, and relatives may not have been Panthers themselves, um, we, we are like the next generation from that. Um, so we we still had a lot of family structure there. Um, while there was drugs in the community, there was it was not in every household. It, we didn't have to worry about it on that okay. level. So we still got a lot of that type of love coming from our our families. Um over time, however, we've seen that that stuff has been broken down. The family structure has been eroded. Their fathers, Smurf, come on, Smurf. You still can't beat Wise Red in the game of chess. Come on, <laughs> come on I see you in a Smurf pull up. You still can't beat him in a game of chess. Come on, man. You know, but, you know, yeah, I see, we used to be going at it, right, Wise? <laughs> no doubt. All night. All, All night. night. Um, instead of diamond. Yo, we man. So, so what? What's what? What is what? What's what's on the what's on the um on the plate for y'all right now, Shaq? We man, what's what y'all getting into now, man? Any any positive things y'all want to speak speak about for for the listeners out here, man? Say that again. Uh, and try to get this book out. Yeah, I'm still I'm still working on yeah, the book in the um in the documentary. I'm still working on that. So that's it for me. Yeah, me man. I'm, I'm um still about to start um putting a piece together for my um web series and things, you know what I mean? Um I'm also inspired to try to get my own site going on because there's a lot of things that's going on in my hood, you know, um that I need to be more in my hood than other places. So I'm trying to work without where I could be more close to my neighborhood. Mikey, uh Shaq, I uh, uh, mean Mikey, what about you, man? Talk about it, man. Yo, they got the um in Albany next week, man. They um they pushing them bills. They trying to get me to go to Albany, but I got this fatherhood class I be running. I got a lot of stuff I'm doing at work, so I really want to go down there. But um, I really want to shoot to Albany Capital and help them with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I might not make it. You know what I mean? Um, next week they got a lot of bills they go, they're going to push. It's a lot of um rallies going to be Tuesday and Wednesday in Albany in the Capital. Um, you know they got buses leaving from everywhere. It's free rides and everything like that. If y'all want to go from Syracuse or the Syracuse area, Utica, um, let me know. I can get y'all bus rides because there's a lot of bus leaving. And I know they're coming from the city as well. The free okay. hots. My nigga hots from Syracuse, man. Yeah, Shout out to hots. I see Sugar Bear in the chat too, Shaq. But um, yeah. other than that, you know, I'm just getting these jobs. And in the last week, I got I got about five people jobs, bro. You heard? Um, well, that's, that's what's up. Um, and, you know, if I can maintain that... um. You know, that's wonderful, man. You know, if you when you give somebody a job, man, that's like 
you a power of the family, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, bro. bro. So that's, a, that's, a, that's a fact, bro. I focus on that. I seen, let me just tell you a quick story of how I work. Um, basically, everybody in the community knows me. They know what I do. Um, so I was at lunch. I, I was at a Dominican restaurant at lunch. And um, this girl was, I seen this girl. She was like, yo, I need a job. And she was with a few other people. And they, some of them were clients that I already had dealt with as well. So she's like, I need a job. I said, you need a job? I said, you serious? I said, all right, come on, let's come to my job. So I, I put her in my car. I take her to my job. Um, and I applied right there with um, I got a lot of connections with the um Amazon and in, in, in all these organizations out here, tip agencies. I already got the connections. So I did the application for her real quick, applied for her, and she right now she um she got an interview. So I'm gonna take her to the interview, and you know, I walk them to step by step. I pick her up, I take her to the interview, um, and I help with all that kind of stuff though. So but my, I'm really trying to get people in the workforce, bro. Because once you got a job, a job is gonna feed, it's gonna feed the hungry belly, feed them kids, and stop crime. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta do nothing. Because a lot of people trying to use excuses like, "Yo, I can't get no job," so that's why I'm out here doing what I do. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm showing them like, hold up, I can get you a job. All that with no education, a GED, no education, I can get you a job. So come yep. hop at me. Um, just the other day, I got a call from a guy in Brooklyn. Um, you know, one of my bros in Brooklyn, salute to him. Um, and he needed a job. I sent him straight to Mo Shea. Like, yo, Mo, I got the brother right here. Um, get him a job. So if I can't get you a job personally, um, I could connect you with somebody that can get you a job no matter where you at, probably. So, you know, that's what I'm doing out here, bro. I'm yo. also into licenses, IDs, permits. I run a fatherhood class. I'm working, bro. What's up, Pete? No. Like you said, because I was doing that too. Like if if you need somebody to need a job, I can get them a job and show them my other job because I was doing hiring over there. So my boss still asked me for people, like if she needs supervisors or RAs or whatever, she hit me up. Like I need some people, so I still got that plug too. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mo most of the work that I'm I'm involved in right now is is centered around the same thing. So, um, that I know works. you guys know I'm I'm the assistant director. I literally, man, I've been blessed, man, of like five youth programs in Canarsie. Flatbush, Fort Greene, Brownsville. Um, we about to we about to start doing the gardens um in East New York. Um and we just got we just got grant funding for the uh, the Mother Cabrini um um program as well. So that's gonna be six. Um but my, my primarily what we do is we help kids, the youth, I don't want to say kids, get um the skills that they need that's gonna help get them into the into the work field. Um we we, we push them in, in, in that in that in that uh, in the work field, we help them get connected to academic placements, credential program placements, among other things. Um, and then, you know, we're also doing a, a bunch of other stuff with my business, Conscious My Adventures. I'm doing a lot of speaking engagements. Um, 2023 is going to be a big year, inshallah, man. So I'm just staying. I'm, I'm, Y'all know I'm about to graduate in May with my bachelor's in organizational yeah. management. Um, and I'm about to I'm about to um, start um, to get my, my master's in, um, in public administration. So right now, I just literally completed my application for Columbia yesterday. Um, but right now, man, work is looking good, man. School is looking great. Um, I'm just staying focused, man. I'm, I'm, I always remember where I came from. I, I, I remember our relationships in those boxes. And, you know, we were living, a lot of people don't realize this, right? So, you know, y'all hearing us speak, man, but we was living in abnormally. We were living as if it was normal in abnormal circumstances, doing things that not everybody was 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 capable of doing man people died under our circumstances because some people hung up some people was ODing on drugs so you know shout out to those individuals who unfortunately are no longer here um and they fell by the wayside because you know unfortunately the pressures of the of, of, of the circumstances got got the best of them um so I'm, I'm i always keep that in the back of my mind that's why i go so hard i was with we talking to the kids i was with mel I'm, mel is an ambassador man I'm, I'm i'm always i get around mel cross i feel so good because we were literally, he reached out to me um when when the fire happened up there on the 183rd, man. And 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 Mel and China Mac, man, like I had to tell Hassan Campbell today, like, yo, man, like you talking about China Mac is not in the community, man. Mel Cross and China Mac, they was like, you thought they were FEMA. They, they were they were regulating people, talking about nah, the clothes gonna go over here, we're gonna go get the food, go do this. And I know Mel don't want me to be talking about that, but I got to because he's out there in his community, man, as a as an ambassador, as somebody who is is doing the best that he can with 
you know the conditions our people are, you know are confronted with so shout out to the bro man and and all of you guys for doing the work that y'all doing man i'm, I'm glad to have built the relationship with all of y'all and that we can call on each other and still keep building yeah man i love y'all man for real man you know what i'm saying so nothing nothing changed man oh um, you too, bro you know that you, know, to you too man thing, though um let me tell you something us getting props for the things that we doing bro because they always gonna try to hold us to the count of our Absolutely. past and the things that we did. So we got to, even if it's not us, like we talk about other people on our channel all the time and take the backs and, and talk about the good things that guys is doing. We got to put that at the forefront, bro, because let me tell you something. Like, um, I got somebody at my job. He was just saying, like, if anybody else was doing certain things that we doing, they'd be getting awards. Yes. Um, they'll be getting, you know, all these kudos and they'd be talking about it. But being that we out here doing the work, we ain't going to get that. So we got to tap our brothers on the back we out here seeing them, we see them doing the right thing. They leading the people the right way and helping these kids do the right thing, bro. We got it. We got to big them up. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We gotta, that's that's like a must, bro. Um, you know, you want you want to hear something ironic too, man? Um, I actually saved the life um a couple of weeks ago, right? Canvassing. Um, we was actually doing a table event. You know, giving out stuff, food and everything to the community and stuff like that, right? And um. Lady came around the corner with a child, like, you need to be around the corner. You know, they fighting everything. By the time we got around the corner, you just see this dude just jumping as high as he can and just stomping on this dude's head repeatedly, repeatedly. I'm talking about his blood everywhere. He's bloody, he's busted everywhere. The guy is laid out, arms flat out and everything. He just keep jumping. But people just recording everything, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, stop, whatever, you know what I mean? Brought him to his senses. You know, they started threatening people and everything, you know. But the thing is, you know, um, come to find out, I knew who the guy was and was able to stop the dude from going any further, whatever. Y'all know who he is, too. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it was crazy. And then, you know, when the um, police came and everything, they was like, yo, if if he would have got hit a couple of more times, man, ain't no telling what would have happened. You know what I'm saying? So whoever, you know what I'm saying, stopped it and made the calls and everything like that, man, yeah, 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 put, you know, potentially saved that man's life, man. Wow. Yeah. And that, and that's good. And, and 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 look, we at one time man, we was you know, we was in the streets doing stuff where lives was being lost. Now we out here, you know, lives is being saved. So, you know, that's that's something where we should definitely definitely appreciate, man. But um I mean, listen, we going on 2 hours on this, man. I know do y'all want to leave us with any lasting words, man? You know, Shaq, Pee Wee, let's start with you guys, man, being that you guys are the ones who are the are the um, ones whose names are on the on the thumbnail. This is y'all show. We, we pulled y'all in. Which I wanna which I wanna leave the listeners out there with, man. The Giants are winning. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> they all winning. They they up by seven. You see me turning, looking at the TV like this. I'm like, okay, they winning. That's a fact. No, nah, it's not. Everybody continue to do the work that y'all do, man. Stay sturdy. Most important, stay safe and come home to your families at the end of the day, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We are, we are, we, we, I, all I see is walking dead and people out here living to die, son. Yeah, right? And she got to basically want to say the same thing, man. She got to live to live, son. For real. Salute the brothers that's doing the right thing and let's continue to do the right thing. And um, being that we all out here and that was our goal to put something together, let's put a foundation together between us. You know what I mean? Let's put our own together. That's what, that's how we supposed to be doing. That's what we supposed yeah. to be doing, bro. Yeah, yeah. put our own shit together. Put that. Listen. We got the influence. We sit down and put our own shit together, all of us together. You know what I mean? I'm with sounds, like, sound, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. That's what we need to be doing, bro. Milk, 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 milk Force, what you want to leave us with, man? I want to leave with this, man. You know, same way how I be with, you know what I'm saying, how I was with the BS, man. You know, I, I come with the same energy, you know what I'm saying, doing what we do. Because, you know... A lot of people, you know, have this persona, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's weak, you know, for you to just be a man and a man up and everything like that, man. But at the end of the day, it's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I know it might be a lot of youth in here that's watching, man. You know, y'all need any type of assistance with anything. Y'all need somebody to men you know, mentor. Y'all need to try to get a job or y'all need some type of assistance or somebody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can holler at me. Y'all can holler at me through my social media um networks. You know, and um, DM me and everything, and I'll reach out to y'all. Everybody stay solid, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, some of us may have ups and downs and everything, whatever, but I respect all y'all. You know, I love y'all, man. Salute, man. Stay being great. I got one more thing to say. Me too. Nobody asked me for no more interviews. This is my first and only interview. That's all. <laughs> I keep being most Nah, we got our documentary on the hill. We ain't jacking that. Nah, hey, what do we talk about? We ain't jacking that. Hills, bro. <laughs> first, and, first and last on the ship for Mojay and Mikey B. That's it. Yo, yo I do. They going to be on your hills, bro. Yo, they going to be all the way on your hills. Hey, yo, yo, Mikey yo. B. In your DM now. Yo, Mikey. Yo, yo, bro. Up? Um, somebody, um, one, one of my comrades, you know what I'm saying, want to say something to you, bro. He was with you and all that, you heard? All right, where you at? Yo, you know how the fucking DM look? Yo, what's up? What's good? Yo, what's going on, man? Ain't that I'm good. You don't even remember you talking to. I can't see your face. Who am I, I don't who got no you? braids. I don't got my braids no more. Where's we at? Wendy's. What's year? Oh nine. Oh nine. Oh yeah, I was D block. Right, oh, right. Everybody was there. Started Diamonds, at and t Un, Black right. Black Un Gambino. P right. pulled up. That's a fact. Sad. And A-Block. Mad, mad. Yeah. Team, he had a, yo, listen. It was so many people in Winnie's at that time. Black O'Mac was like, yo. Oh, fact. He was like, yo, Black O'Mac was my neighbor. <laughs> That's my neighbor. We was yo, on the fucking you pulled up over there, Pee You was like, yo, it's crazy, DB, right? Right. Oh, it's crazy and what right. Yo, you know, you know, um, what's the name? Um, I just saw ATT in the mosque. Yo, Jay Z, Mikey B. Yo, I <laughs> appreciate you, bro. Salute, bro. Yo, Yo salute, bro. Oh, I, I was just in the mosque the other day, and ATT pulled up behind me and said, Yo, Mo Shea. But I was on the phone, I was trying to get my wife in the, in the other door where the, where the sister's going at. And there's no lie, he, he was like, Yo, we got to take a flick so we can send it to Mikey. And then when I when I when I when I turned around, he was gone. Word. Word. He told me, man. He said, yo, tell Mikey I send my love, bro. Man, at and I got so many stories about at and man. <laughs> I would have, yo, I would have been in college at home if it wasn't for at and I, I was just, I was just with him. I would have had a degree in a medium if it wasn't at and When I, I would have been home in 2010 and 2011, bro. <laughs> I did, I did 10 extra years because of at and bro. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you know, he go by Mujahid now, right? Yes, yeah. he goes by Mujahid. I just saw him on Friday in the mosque. I just saw him. Yeah, that's, that's my brother, man. I, I ain't see him in a minute. I lo I threw my phone away, so I ain't got his number right now to reach yeah, he him. He was there with us too. Yeah, he was with us too. He was working in um AutoZone last I remember. Okay, that's good. Yo, yeah, listen, good. listen. I wanna, I wanna leave y'all with this, man. Um, the power of forgiveness. And not burning bridges, you know what I mean? Because like we all we all went through a whole bunch of stuff when, when we was locked up, whether from each other or whether through the authorities, we all went through it, man. But at the end of the day, we overcame it, and now we're out here now. Um, you don't know who the who the people you who's the bridges you burned yesterday, how or today, how they will impact you in the future. Facts. Um, so you know, if it's anything that we learn, man, the people that come into your life, treat them, man, with dignity, respect, honor, love, loyalty, integrity, and honor them, man, because you don't know what the future may hold. You know what I mean? People who you may have odds with in the past may become your comrades and your brothers today. Um, and, and forgiveness, because like I just said, man, you know, um, you know, I, I wasn't the perfect individual, but yet my brother Pee Wee forgive me. For for the for the ignorance that I, I participated that that impacted him, um you know things things occurred up north between between us and 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 things you know we 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 he forgave me, so I mean just the fact that his power of forgiveness man speaks speaks volumes and you know I'm thankful for that as well too because without that you know you know he could have been like nah I'm not forgiving you and 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 then I would have had to wear that you know what I mean so. Just, I'm glad that all of y'all out here, man. Y'all doing good. Y'all got your families, your wives. You know that. Um, everybody's, everybody's is is. I'm, I'm proud of y'all. Y'all looking good. Y'all looking real good. Nah, I'm look, I'm looking fat. I gotta lose some weight, man. We all looking Yo, fat. You look legendary. You look big. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. How you doing? 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 you you doing? you doing? you you Pulling up the We Locked In, please hit that, that, that subscribe button, hit that like button, 
share this content, put a comment in the chat. Y'all heard some real big heavy hitters today. My brother Pee Wee was on the set. Oh, big was on the set. Mel Cross was on the set. Wow. Wise Red was on the set. Oh, yeah. Shaquel pulled up. Nah, boy. Got Nayboy pulled up. Everybody pulled up, man, to come show their love, man. So listen, man. You know, I'm dead in the hood as I'm all your ears, you right? Absolutely. Yo, I know when y'all come out with them books, too, and yet, yo, bring them up here. We like this so we can help y'all promote, man. You know you know hey, yo, Mr. Scoo Scalini, I'm still fly now. I'm still fly now. Bro, you know, what's up, Scoo Scalini? You know who that is? <laughs> yo, that's a that's a nice little that's a nice little goose goose you got. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. No. Yo, oh. yo, Mel, Mel, I ain't gonna lie, man. You a fly dude, man. Yo, yeah, I got it. You know <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> yourself a pretty black gangster and all these. These AKAs and stuff he had back in the days, you heard? <laughs> yo. yo, that, hold up. Yo, man. Love like that, man. Yo, yo, yo I, honestly, man, we all get together. We got to go get something to eat. We got to have a little feed. You know what I'm saying? Go anywhere. Yeah, we got to go. Let's put, put it together. Hey, yo, I know a nice little rest, a nice little restaurant that we enjoy down in, um... Because it's always um, in the Bronx. No, huh? Because <laughs> it's always in the Bronx. <laughs> you got some right here where they third, fifth store right there in the block, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got to yeah. run. I got to get to. Yeah, we, go to nah, um, we got some good joints, though. Them. We go up um, downtown, though, man. Nice little spot. Put it spot, together. Man. We link up. Put it together. All right. Got y'all. Got y'all. Love y'all, man. Yo, love y'all, right, too, man. Take it easy, man. Oh, you too. Y'all already know, man. We locked in. Yo, we locked in. Shaq, we love y'all, man. Y'all stay y'all. up, man. Salute. Salute. We locked in. Y'all already know. Hit me. Copy.